ません。Right, all right, all right. We on deck another Saturday. You already know. Cripple 3030 on deck. We got my sexy co-host, Nicole. Yes, sir. We got my partner, my my, my other half. Got uh, straight from the gutter, Jake Gutter. The the Actually, Nicole's his other half. I'm just a partner. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you're, the you're, here, you're, here, baby. you're the co-host because technically I'm the partner. I'm the other half. You know, you're the everything. Yeah. You're, you're his better half. Well, yeah. I'm just his business. Well, partner. just to yeah. keep it, just to keep it clear, when I say my other half on the show, I'm talking about Jay. Because Jay's no actually doing do. business. He's actually out there working, grinding. They know. I just like, I just like thing. confusing people just to fuck with them. And then you know, Nicole is doing it because she's my wife. Because if she wasn't married to me, she probably wouldn't be doing half the shit that she do. Very much right about know. that, but you know, I'll get my double donuts. <laughs> yeah, keep her ass busy. <laughs> Focus. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm mad she's here. I want to be where she's supposed to be at. Uh, what? Well, no. Technically, I'm supposed to be here. I can set my own schedule. So every Saturday, I don't work over there. But certain Saturdays, I was actually going to. But I wasn't called in to work today. It, oh, when, I, if I they would have like... and told me, look, can you come in <laughs> after what I went through last night? It was crazy. What? Yo, I was glad. Like, yo, Wait, yo, hold on. For the I'll people, see you Sunday. For the people that don't know, Nicole oh, yeah. works at Yankee Stadium. So yeah. I know y'all looking at it like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so I ended yeah. up like, yo, they you play in Boston. That like, people do look at what? you like that all the time. I hate like, Jose up like, yo, she, Nicole coming? Yeah. And I take a spot? Yeah, Boston, <laughs> Boston Red Sox and um, um, Mets games are mandatory, but because I kind of do set my own schedule, um, I'm here. Even though instead. the Mets suck this year, but Listen, it's still, it's still a rivalry. Those are mandatory games because of the Subway Series, you know, New York versus New York. Nah, I paid crazy oh. money. The first year they did it, we was lit. New York was a heavy, like... Well, I, I, I gotta... I, I mean, certain people don't know this, but I will blow up my own spot. Um, Monday, Tuesday, they play the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. And then um, Wednesday, Thursday, they play at City Field, and they actually want me to work at City Field too on Wednesday and Thursday. But I'm not working over there. Ninja, you made it. What do you mean? I don't want to work. That stadium over there. is nice. Nah, it they, is. They treat you my, my uncles work over there too. They treat you bad. So, over there. Yeah. They treat you bad? Yeah, they. I didn't. I oh. didn't like him. So they know you come from Yankee Stadium? Nah. Uh, no. Oh, hey, but nah, when they, they just do that the... regularly. Yeah. What? Like they search you at the gate, they, they make you like practically strip down, like you going back right, back to uh, Rikers Island or something. Bro, mm -hmm. you in Queens, like he <sighs> sat there and watched from over yeah. there while what they were doing. To yeah, I, I, I seen it. Like the, the way they, they search happy. you is like they you really like you going to prison. Yeah. Like, what and the I know Jose right. saying they're like, yo, of, if they don't person. search the next person the same way <laughs> they just search my wife, we got a problem. And then when they did, they're like, oh, alright, we good. <laughs> and, and speaking of prison, we got this gentleman right here, right there. We have. No, we didn't even introduce him yet. Yes, no. we were making our way. Him, that's fucked right? up. But check it out. That's a good plug, right? To introduce, right? Because we got Segway. Mr. Gary Hayward, right? He's an ex correction officer, author of Corruption Officer. You know what I'm saying? He's been on CNN, ABC, uh, and so on and so forth. He's been in the Daily News, right? Fox Five, right. front page of the Daily News, New York Times. Now he's up here. Now he's up here to. to uh, speak his speak his story. I'm saying for our 200,000 plus viewers. No, it's crazy. It's crazy to say that because I saw the picture where he was a high 97. I was stuck in the meeting. I was trying to post how flawlessly we go from high 97 to DSN, but I didn't get a chance to post it, so I'm a little tired about that. <laughs> yeah. Why not? But that's what we need the assistant, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, but damn, you, you've done a lot, man. Yeah, yeah it's it, change two is really is my story, but it's really the story of. You know, being a correction officer, especially Rikers Island, I know you know, you right. know notorious prison known around the world, <laughs> yeah. and then becoming an inmate, you know, after being an officer. For all the craziness that you read about, hear about, it's like sort of my book validates it. Like, some, everybody got jail stories. But why would they put you in the same jail? You was a correction officer. No, is that like is that like the punishment? Like you fucked up, so now you got to go to the same no, prison. They or... didn't do it to me. But one sec, can you um raise this mic a little bit, please, okay. um Jose? Just a little, yeah, right there. Thank you. I don't know if that did it. Uh, go ahead. It's going down. down little by little by little right. by little. But if you, he, he, more or oh. less what he's trying to say is talking to the mic okay, so everybody okay. can hear you. Yeah. We want but, the YouTube people to hear you clearly. All right. right, um, right, right. They didn't, they wouldn't place me when I got arrested. They wouldn't place me on Rikers Island because some of the inmates who knew me, who I took care of, who are like against all the rules and regulations who I bonded with, they was kind of rioting. So they didn't want me in the same jail. 
Right. But I know of other officers who did wrong that they put right back on Rikers Island in the same jail in which they were serving in. Mm. And that, that was I know that didn't turn out good. No, nah, that it never turns out good. It can't. Yeah. How could how could it turn out good? Well, right right before we came Damn. in here, we was just talking, right? Because um Nicole asked, yo, do y'all feel awkward like standing next to each other? Because I you know, was trying you, to wait for the show, but because every place just like click so. Because mind mind you, I did thirteen years, right? So then I mean, I he was clearly didn't treat him back because he invited him on the show. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but just saying. Him being a CEO and him being I didn't even know. I didn't even know him when he was working. Honestly, okay. I met him at the at the um audition for the Ben Stiller miniseries that's coming on um Escape, Shameless plug. Escape at Don tomorrow. Right. <laughs> See, this could be you, Ben Stiller. This could be right? you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> then you just call the famous man bitch. What kind no, of not shit him. Stupid. What the fuck you talking about? The people, the sponsors. Me. Boy, yeah. shut up. So you Keep your story. Sponsors, bitch. Shh. That's how you Shh. do it, B boy. I'm Let trying to drink my coffee, but it's not working. <laughs> Yo, that, it reminds me. Please, your damn story. Remind me of a saying that my partner tells me all the time. It says, treat them like mud, so they can stick to you. I mean, treat them like dirt, so they can stick to you like mud. I Wait, guess what? that's what you're doing. Oh, you, treat you, just said? You, you, you treat them like dirt so they can stick to you like mud. Okay, that makes you know, sense. It, okay. When you treat he said it back. Like okay. shit, they be up your ass. So right. when you treat them like they're good, they. He was trying to like say the nice shit. way, but yeah, I got you. Right. But, <laughs> you know. It, hey, that's being uncensored. bluntly. Right. So that's how you do it. You, nah, you, you, yeah, you, know, you know what it is. With, you know what it is with marketing? It's, it's, like, it's like everything else. You got to curse them out? Nah, like for instance, right? The drama the drama attracts people, right? Yeah. So, Definitely. like, for instance, right, you have a, a hour interview, right? You say two things derogatory in that interview. That's the caption. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when you say, fuck them, it's like, oh, Jay said, fuck them. They, now they're listening. Down, then they see all the love we showed them show after show no, after no, no, show. No, no, no. But once you say, Jay fuck them. Jay said, fuck the sponsors. Somewhere in there. Something like that. Call the, call the yeah, you get it. You know what I mean? Like so it's like, so basically that attracts the people. And then they share it because Jay said, fuck somebody. And then mm -hmm. we get the sponsors. And so, they're be like, oh shit, they really do love then, us. Then the caption of these two will be um, um, befriending um, COs. Prisoners befriending <laughs> no, COs. But listen, but that's the, what the Back to Radio is about, <laughs> damn it. Yeah, but the moral, the moral of the, of the whole I'm story. Just my oh, there's a moral. That shit done, girl. Yeah, the moral of the story was that even though, like, I never met him in, when we was in prison, but she was asking if we felt awkward because I was, I was incarcerated for such a long time. And then, you know, he was a correction officer. So we started actually talking. About the stuff that was happening when I was locked up, when I was in the island. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How the correction officers and the and the and the prisoners used to fight. You gonna do a part two of the book or some shit? No, he, no, already, he, got that. Right. he already got he that. Already got that Word. He's gonna throw the plug out. No, I got part two and and part three. You fucked it up, oh, but it's okay. Oh, it was coming out during the interview. Oh but shit! It's all right. It's, it's all right. But but you jumped the gun with that one. One thing. My bad. One thing I did as an officer <laughs> that okay. One problem I admit to having. As a correction officer, because I was born and raised in Polo Grounds, Harlem, oh, you know, 155th Street. Ruckus. And yeah. So one of the things they try to teach you in the academy is like, listen, you gotta distance yourself from anybody who got a felony. You can't mm -hmm. be around them. It's called undue familiarity. You know, you can't be around them. But I was from the street. So now you put me in a jail right. with everybody from the street. So my thing is like this: if you were an inmate in there. I'm not going to sit here and cop a plea like I ain't put hands and feet on some inmates. But the thing with me was I treated you like a man. Like, I don't know why you're here. It ain't none of my business why you're here. I'm just going to make sure you're all right why you're here. So there's no need for me to add no extra, you know, punishment or no extra. That's not my job. Right. So I, I treated you like a man. So I, I treated everybody with respect. They treated me with respect to the point where other inmates would tell inmates, if, if I had to do something to you, Duke, you you really wrong, cause I'm not that type of officer. You know, some officers going in with I gotta be like that. I didn't have to. I'm a big dude. I, I know how to talk. I know where you're coming from, especially when you first get locked up. Everybody's security senses are you know up to ten, and everybody's the enemy. Mm -hmm. Nobody trusts nobody. See, but you so, came from the street. A lot of the, uh, some of these dudes were really soft growing up. Five a buck fifty. They gotta do it. Like I gotta prove myself. Oh yeah. And they start <laughs> they being there wilding out. Yeah. And when you become a CEO, even if you was that punk. In high school, they put that battery in your back that we got you. Right. We yeah. got you. They, 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 they It's they, an army. Yeah, they, they we got your back. We got, we got your back. Some people before never you continue, had that. You before know, you right. continue, stop bringing people in here with books. Because Nicole, the stop the air goddamn <laughs> interviews, reading the goddamn books. But anyway, go ahead, sir. You know what? My apologies. 
ahead. Why you go ahead. Why you got to laugh? Oh, shit. Um, see, I can't kick his ass, his ass, or his ass, but I can get you after yeah, the show. Yeah. But at least we can finish the show but, first. But um, all what? in all, he actually read the books. He'll probably yeah. read this one before I will. No yeah. offense. Yeah. Um, I, I'll read the back and I'll summarize it. But I actually have a question for you. Wait, what? but he, he wasn't done. I inter- I rudely interrupted oh, him. Oh, you rudely interrupted him? <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I, that was yeah. my bad. No, he wasn't it's, done, it's, though. It's all right. I mean, to, to kind of Don't worry, see I can how me and him later. can vibe and yeah. talk, it's like, okay, everybody in jail ain't friends. You know, everybody ain't yeah, friends. Clearly. But you do share that common v- bond that he went behind the walls and he made it. Right. So everybody can't do that. That's a fact. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Even though jail is a bad place and this and that, you still got to have mental fortitude to realize where you are and make it for the, 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 long, the amount of time that he made it. Right. So well, from one jail person to another, no, I don't know him. I don't know right. about him. And that. But you do share that common bond that, listen, we both went behind there. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? I got 12 years of experience, right. 10 as a, as a CEO. I only did two years upstate, but I still was up there. I still was in there. Holy shit, I know niggas did 10 days. I'm never going back. Oh, listen. <laughs> listen <laughs> and, and, so. and, and, and when I talk to people Not about jail. Not made for it, that's why. That, yeah, when I talk right. to people about jail, one hour in there, you should be like, listen, I'm never coming back. Right. But it's, it's the, like, even I wrote it in my book, that as a CEO, I'm not going to lie. I, I, one time, like, in my book, you're going to read it if you, when you read it. Uh, and they came and asked me, oh, can I need some tissue? I got to use the bathroom. So I'm drunk. I'm in there on my BS. <laughs> yeah, I'm in there on my BS. I told him. Yeah, so there you go. Correction officers do go to work drunk. Well. There you go. I know I did. Uh, you know, well, Dad, I need to read the book. <laughs> and, you know, I told him, wipe his ass with his hand. Because I don't want to be bothered. Get, get away from me. What I'm the not... fuck were you drinking, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, shit. I think it's some good that shit. Word. No, but you got to blame it on the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, it was an alcohol mixed with the arrogance that I can do that. I right. had the power to do that. Yo, go wipe your ass with your hand. Right? That's fucked up. So he, yeah, he, he wilded out on me. <laughs> he wilded see, out, see, right? what people don't understand is some people fear COs about what they would do and this and that. Then you got other people in there that listen, I, I'm a human being. Don't you put your pants on just like me. I can catch you just like you can catch me. I know, see, the only thing an inmate is worried about is after I whip your ass, then I got to worry about them coming to do whatever right. it is. But in the meantime, until they get here, it's me and you. You know, right. and I, I always respected that. You know what I'm saying? So at that time, he went in, because you know, they always talk about jail right now. It's modern day. Slavery, you treat us like slave, you're doing the work <laughs> of the white man. So I go back and forth with him, like, okay, even if that's true, if I'm if I'm doing the work of the white man, why do you keep bringing your behind back to jail? You know what I'm saying? So I can do the work of the white man on you. So now we both fucked up. Like I'm doing I'm doing you dirty, right. you doing yourself dirty. You right. mad because you gotta ask me for toll tissue. Now right. guess what? Fast forward, when I get locked up, I'm up there in Oneida County and stuff like that. <laughs> I ask a, a CEO for some tissue, he tells me, go wipe your ass. With your hand. I'm a bitch. That, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and he ain't know, he ain't know I told that inmate that. Was yeah. he sober? Was he sober? Hmm? Was he sober? It was a, it was a yeah. white seal, because you know yeah. North. Oh, they, they, that, 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 they, that's just how they They were probably talk. drunk. They were probably drunk. They'd nah, be drinking that whiskey. Nah, sober. Nah, I know about up North. They were probably drinking that whiskey. They, they be up there with that shit. I mean, they listen, they do themselves. the same thing. I know. Thing. Trust they, me, I know. They do the same thing up there, but I have to say, up up upstate, up North, they're a little bit more harder and more stricter. You know, all this uh, contraband and hustling and all these COs that you see getting busted, a lot of it is right down here in Rikers Island. But, however, every time a correction officer smuggles some drugs, do something wrong to an inmate, I get an email right all now, over the world. Because, right. yeah, all over the world. They let me know because uh, I'm dub, I'm, I'm corruption officer. Anytime something go wrong like that, they call me in. Uh, just like the two inmates, what, two weeks ago, they escaped, yeah. got phone calls from the news. How did they even leave the <laughs> island, though? No, he, this one didn't make the island. Uh, he didn't make it off the island. He oh, made he, it out of the facility. Oh, he did make it out of the facility. Yeah, he, he was, was not out he the was island. He was riding in a trailer, like, nearby. Yeah. They, that that was the? pretty sad. Did you hear about the back end to that, about the people that were there, that thinking? they were stuck in Rikers Island, yeah. like the visitors and all that? They oh, yeah. were stuck in there for hours. They were stuck in the buses. They wasn't allowed to I'll leave. Be, the I'll babies sick. were sick. The babies, they were, they were, they were overheated because they were stuck in the bus. They were nauseous. They were throwing up. That's the last time they visiting. Uh, I <laughs> yeah, but he's a care packer. You be alright. They let you know that when you come to visit the island, any given second, anything pop off, they shutting it down. They are closing that bridge down. Yeah, when down, they close the island, they, they, close, they, they no, close it down for one real. One time, it, there was rioting, and the officers had to stay there for three days. 
Uh, they wouldn't let nobody on. They wouldn't well, let nobody off. Yeah. So you got to stay there for the duration <laughs> if you're on there. That the, except the, that y'all getting paid for it. Yeah, they getting paid. Yeah. Who still want to be? Yeah, yeah the correctional officers getting paid for three days. Yeah. Yeah. I've already visited too many That's people. That's overtime, like no. crazy. What? Yeah, they they killing it, I and they got that. showers and all that. But y'all can shower. Yeah, they, they got all that. But so they, when you, you know, work, they got there, locker rooms and everything. They got locker rooms. They got side bitches. Nah, yeah, <laughs> they got side bitches. Yeah, I heard. That, yes. He knows I about heard. that. Hold I up, heard. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, hold up. He <laughs> knows about lit. that. They got side bitches. Uh, that's chapter number. Uh, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Um. Wasn't I just looking at that one? So as a yeah, matter of fact, that's what made me look yeah, at you it. You would find that chapter. You know what's funny? I actually did. And I went back <laughs> Damn, one. Son. I went back one <laughs> page just to read the. Like, the, what the <laughs> fuck? It's not only they got side bitches. They got side families. Oh my God. I mean, they make enough to have yes. a side family. Yeah, they have side family. I mean, if you're paying, you know, if your tax bracket is at a yeah. certain level <laughs> and you can afford two families, then my nigga can do your thing. Yeah, they, they make enough I money. can't afford it. They make enough money <laughs> yeah. the whole time. Keep it real. But, that's, but that's the thing. Also, look, like you mentioned, <laughs> you said that, you know I'm saying, that you have correction officers that they put their hands and feet on prisoners. Honestly, I was, like, I was telling you right off, off, of, off of the thing. Me and my people, we put hands and feet on correction officers. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was our thing. You know what I mean? Like, when we went out to do that was shit, your thing? yeah, that was our thing, nigga. Like we would go, all right, med run, let's go to the med run. Yo, we, yo, we seen, we seen uh, Fontaine, we seen um, I, I forget all the other names, all those other COs, but we see the COs with all the all the shine on and all the gold. We yapping them for their gold. You know what I'm saying? We had my man, my man with the crew. I ain't gonna mention his name right now, but he, please don't. He, he had a dead arm. You know what I'm saying? So he would knock the nigga out, and we take his shit. And then they eventually they, they would come with it. The uh, I guess because of them. They, they told correction officers, no more jewelry, no more the, the big earrings, no more the ring, sorry. The, you couldn't wear no more jewelry. At no the, more beating at the up things. the mics, right? Don't beat up the mics. We need yeah. the mics. After, after that, they said, no more jewelry. If it ain't your wedding ring or something like that, oh, you yeah? don't see no... Yeah. That makes oh, sense. Oh, I would pay somebody to sit there and tell him that he can't wear his wedding ring. I mean, ring think about it. You, you have nothing. You're, you're no, a bare minimum. I'm going to walk in there with mad ice. I'm going to tell you something. They Bop. use the, the rule yeah. of okay. the better of the... Okay, if I want to protect him... If I know, like, he probably fearless, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But as an officer, like, yo, I know this dude gonna go in there, they gonna pop on him. He got the crazy shining, bling blinging, wedding band. Look, my man, please. <laughs> you know, take that off. Because you going in there, and he like, listen, I'm wearing my, I'm going in there, and I'm like, listen, I know they've been whispering. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. take that off, send it to your wife. You know, tell her you love her, you know, yeah. and then you'll be, you know, I'm not saying you're gonna be all right, but they're not gonna take that. Right. Because I don't, I don't care. I'm a big dude, but I don't see all kind of big dudes get back down. Crazy. That size don't don't mean nothing. Yeah. I had a, 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 a in my book. I tell you, I got knocked out by a 128 pound Spanish guy with a tattoo. You know, banner weight. They fighting and everything. You know, I think I'm a big dude. I grab him. I break it up. I put him on the wall. I'm talking shit. Yo, get that one to snap. He came right off the wall. Next thing you know, I see my Timberlands floating in. In the air, I'm going back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so that's why all that, all that, all nah, that. Nah, but that's the thing. That's the thing. When we went on these runs, it wasn't just one individual going on the run. It was four, five, six people. We waiting around the corner. We waiting to catch them on, on the blind side. You know what I'm saying? You see one or two CEOs walking by themselves. That that's that's the time. Especially if he's by himself. Right. But and nine times out of ten, they have five and ten chains. You know what I'm saying? Like they had, they, they was rocking. They was rocking some real shine. So it was well, like, mean, yo, we uh, back in the streets, nigga. Floyd, we taking I mean, this. Floyd Mayweather, like a what, buck sixty? I'm pretty sure you'll knock anyone, anybody out. It, it's not. It's, hit, who? I mean, it, Floyd Mayweather. He's oh, like a buck yeah. sixty. But it's, you know it's, it's not yeah. hard. It's, if you have a dead arm, it's not hard to knock a nigga out. But mind you, we got four or five other individuals who's going to jump in if you ain't get it right. We're gonna get if back you, to that. If you you hit that first shot and that nigga don't go down, then this five other niggas is going to jump. No, in. he gonna go down. Because we gonna make sure <laughs> I mean, we gonna make sure the dead arm don't get him. Down. There's four other motherfuckers, right? I mean, I and then that. one of us is gonna yap that shine before we leave. You know what I'm saying? And we are gonna stuff that, and we we out. And then nine times out of ten, they gonna come with their goon squad, the whole Ninja Turtles. Be like, yo, I know it was, I know it was my nine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know it was two upper. We mm -hmm. gonna go up there, yeah. and we gonna they gonna wild out. Everybody search down, get up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That that's how they be doing it. And right. next thing you know, they make us strip down to our underwears and they fighting us. They beating us down while we in boxes. You know what I'm saying? But that's mm -hmm. how that's how it was going. We was only adolescents. We were 16, 17. Mind you, you know what I'm saying? But we supposed to be in high school at the time. And this is what we learning. You know what I mean? Yeah.
But crazy. you know, going back to the moral of the story is that it goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the dudes. No, you always say going back to the moral of the story when you try to get back to where you came from, but you're the one who sidetracked. Don't and be laughing. And I can laugh at anything I fucking want. You want dinner tonight? You better shut the fuck up and get laughed at. Shit, you better shut up and get laughed at. But but up north, up north, there's less there's <laughs> less of that baby. going on because they, they, tend yeah, have, they tend to have they tend to have they tend to have more I love you. Of a, he still um, full of shit. How you say they they, they the the COs are too it's, it's way more, more organized. It's more structured. There. Like when I got up north, I'm being, I, very rarely, you know, at least in Oneida, right. that I see any black correction officers, and it, it was far few between. So. You had these huge. I'm sure you seen some huge yeah. rednecks. I was in Attica. I was in Clinton. Down, so, yeah, yeah. So maybe they, maybe they racist. Maybe they not. But I know these are some big. I ain't trying to find out. <laughs> OG dudes. And, See, you, you, you did. You were the the CEO, and you did your time. He, we all know, has did his. We have done. Well, he zero uh, zero, <laughs> and I've just been in and zero. out. Zero. And like I like I said, when um Afi um. Wait, yeah. overnight don't count, right? No. Nah. Right. Zero. Yeah, I, 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 after my, my third time in and out, going over oh, 24 hours, I, that was it. I was done. Third time was my charm, and listen, that was 19 years ago. That's that's good. <laughs> that's why I encourage everybody. I mean, I think that it, it sounds corny sometimes, but as an adult, I mean, everybody at one point in time do what they feel they have to do. But if they breaking the law, if they not breaking the law, I'm not here to advocate old. Oh, you know, stop selling drugs, stop doing this. But I'm, I'm like, don't go to prison for anybody. I don't care how old you are. You know, you try to get to the youth, but I'll talk to anybody. It's not the place to be for nobody. I know it sounds corny, yada, yada. Yeah, get out of my face. But get, yo, when you sitting in there, for that first time, you sitting in there, and somebody like me come up to you and tell you, shut your mouth. You ain't got no rights. What you going to do? And then like four or five of my other people waiting for you to look at me. Why are you even looking at me crazy? Right. And then they pound you out for every little thing that you resist on. Sooner or later, you fall in the line. You don't forget, but you fall in the line. But then that's supposed to be a deterrent. Like, I'm not going back to prison. I don't want nobody telling me what to do. Right. When I can yeah. sleep, when I can shit, when I can eat, when I can see my woman, when I can't see my woman, cutting my visit short, all kind of throwing me in a box. You know what mine was? I actually already had my son. And I didn't learn the first time when I went in and out. I didn't learn the second time. But I damn sure made sure after them two days of community service, my second time, when I got caught the third, that was it. I was done. Yeah, like, that I shit don't do even it. count, man. Listen, <laughs> but that taught me you my lesson. two days? I said two days like, of community I service. I said a, a I total of uh, 28 in. hours. Like, like, come on, they don't even talk about it. When, when, yo, listen, I would be ashamed. 16, like, don't even say that. Listen. But you, I bet you if that. you would have had destiny. Juice it up a second. I bet you if you would have had destiny and you would have you thought about everything after that. Nigga, I had destiny for my last bit. But that, and you didn't do that long after that. You wouldn't have did 16 years nah, after that. No, nah, I actually But I guarantee, but you know what? I think it, it's very different. Are you, were, were you already a parent? Or are you a parent? Very much so. Um, it, it, your, your mentality it, changes it, a little it, bit, but so your temperature. I hustled temper backwards. Does. I waited till I was 40 to go to jail. And so mm -hmm. The funny thing is, like, in my book. Did you learn it while you was on the job? Did you get encouraged well, to do it? Well, I'll put it like this. Everybody know hustles the in the neighborhood when they grow up. Was I a drug dealer and all that stuff before I got it? No, I wasn't. I was a Marine, came home, got the law enforcement job, but sitting there and you see everybody else, people doing things. You learn. You learn. You, you see how, how it's done. So I learned what I did on the island from other correction officers. Now, I didn't just jump into it. Like, if you read my book, there's a lot of reasons because people, the number one question is, yo, being a CEO is a good job. You make it all that money. Why the fuck would you do that? And why the fuck would you do this? You're not making enough. You know, it's 3.30. So, in the book, I explain exactly from A to Z what happened, how I did it, why I did it. What has been the backlash in you explaining this from A to Z? Um, last year, was don't like me. <laughs> you know, I'm not their favorite. Yeah, he was very point blank. He was like, they just don't like me. No, but... <laughs> it, nah, it, I mean, you got to keep it a stack. I mean, okay. he, he just pointed out from One A thing, to Z. You know, Norman, be, Norman yeah. Seabrook is the head, was the head of correction officers union. When I came out with the book, he talked, he said a bunch of stuff like I was lying, you know, making up stories and, you know, disgruntled, you know, because I went to jail and lost my job. That's their favorite word. So, this, this, yeah. Disgruntled employee. But see, he don't know that I'm signed by Simon & Schuster, one of the biggest book publishing companies in New York. So I had to verify all the stuff that, that I'm talking about, you know, because lawsuits and people want to talk, talk You had smack. to do the um, fictional or non-fiction. Yeah, that book right there is non-fiction. 
Like one 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 instance, I think I was uh, the, four, the defamation lawsuits will make you lose a contract. Yeah, but I was four months in the job. I was in the housing area, like two lower, talking shit. I'm a big dude. Yeah, you fuck around, I'm a punch in your mouth. Ah, uh, this that that. So I went to lunch. I said, wait till I get back, right? So they may wait till I get back. So I'm in there eating lunch, and then we got a big alarm. We had to put on our little suits and everything and run to an area. The area we had to run to was my area. So I'm like, damn, as soon as I left, they popped off. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when I got there, all the inmates was on the gate. It was a dorm area. All the inmates was on the gate. They was trying to get out. Let's see, let me out, let me out. The officer's there, she was, her face was pale white. She's black. She said, gunshots. It was gunshots in the uh... housing area. So I'm like, oh, wait, fam. Oh, these things, <laughs> these things we got on the staff. <laughs> these shit just got you know, real. They're not bulletproof. Like, and I'm hell? sitting here, and guess what? When, when we let them out, handcuffed them, put them on the floor, found the gun, found the inmate with a, with a bullet hole in his leg inside the jail. And the dude who shot him was the one I was talking about, yeah, motherfucker, when I come back. <laughs> oh, so he's sitting ready there to shoot you. You know, you know, he's yeah. sitting there packing. I'm talking all this because never, I'm new. So never in my wildest imagination that somebody got a gun inside the jail in the house there other than me <laughs> and he popped somebody but yeah. you said too lower was that still cmc no i was in six building oh you okay you got to talk building. um english for the people that don't know oh, prison language yeah. Yeah. no that, that don't know the prison language yeah. Man, see i clarified that yeah yeah no because um, i know yeah but describe it for for jay over here okay you it's don't know. because I, you are here you talk about it all the time but go ahead yeah, yeah so the, the inmate got That's shot crazy an inmate pulled out a gun and shot another inmate inside the jail, right? And I had to fill out reports. Everybody involved had to fill. And Norman Seabrook, who said I was lying, had to fill out the same report. His name on the, on the report just like mine. Right. So that kind of validates what I'd be saying in there. Right. You know, my see, I was new. So how did that gun get in there? That's the first sign of corruption to me right there. Like, how did he get this gun inside the jail? Right. You know, so what what's the um mm. the most uh, how do how do you say it? The most corrupt thing that you've seen. Like that would top the cake above all. Uh well if you if you want to talk see, about okay. it. If you want to talk about no, it. You want people to buy the book. No. No, listen. That's what I said if you want to talk about it. Well, well, do you we got to give out did? some tidbits. We got to give out some tidbits. You want to know the corrupt milk? Because see, the no, yeah. okay, okay, give But hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, hold up. And if you're going to talk about what you did, you did. they can't charge you for it no more, right? No. Nah, that, that's my whole thing. Listen. We're not going to send book? you up the river for No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to see. If, got him. If, if you listen to, well, well, you know, I was on Hot 97. Ebro was trying to get at me. He okay. called me all kind of snitches. He snitched you on the CO. What? Yeah, Ebro's like that. It got crazy. But. I had to break it down to him. That book right there is about me. Like, you, there's a lot of books about prison, and they'd be like, yo, them over there, he did that, or she the one that stole the cookies. No, that book is, this is what I did. I did this. I burned the drugs. I hustled. I did this. I organized a little organization. So in other words, you didn't tell so, nobody. No, nobody could get in trouble. You told on yourself. And guess what? I already did the time, so you can't right. tell me I can't talk about it. Okay, so let's talk about it then. So, That's what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, so we'll let him answer so, my question then. Cripple just got dumb excited. Then fuck it, let's talk, talk about, about it then. then. The Damn. most corrupt thing. Oh, I did, you okay, baby? The most, <laughs> the most corrupt thing I think that I, I did that you was did, yeah. I was, it was it was a guy, I'm not gonna say his name. Please don't. But when I was yeah. out there wilding, I'm gonna be James I had Chipotle. robbed, I had robbed the drug spot. I used my badge, my gun, and I and I robbed the drug spot. Me and him did it together. He wasn't, he wasn't officer, but then he got locked up, and he tried to blackmail me as if he gonna go tell him. That I did that with him. So I bring my gun and you ain't supposed to have no guns inside the jail. So right. I bring my gun inside the jail and put it in his mouth. Like, listen, if you're gonna blow me up anyway, like if you, <laughs> you might as well say, make it count. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I let him know that I had Blood Crips and Latin Kings who was hustling with me, paying their lawyers, making the money, taking care of their families in here, and nowhere you would go that you, you would be, be good. Touched. Right. So think about what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't shoot him. And yeah, I was on some bullshit. Right. But at the same time, I was scared. I was nervous. This nigga was gonna run his mouth. Your back was against the wall. You know, you know what I'm saying? So that's the craziest thing I did. Cause had he called my bluff, <laughs> and it was a bluff. Right. You know, then what was I gonna do? If I if I'd have popped him in there, then come on. I, I say fuck it. You should have shot him. He already threatened to rat on you. Why yeah. you ain't shoot the Damn. nigga? Do you have fuck a significant it. other? Now I do. I'm now you what? do. <laughs> now I do. She. After the oh, matter of okay. fact, you know, um, if he has a significant other. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, never, oh, no, yeah, no, you know she's there some relationship shit. You know oh, yeah. Yeah. No, because then you want to know how she <laughs> feels about that. How does she feel about, you know, well, um, what they, how you say a correction officer, how people say that you might be a snitch or, well, you know, but this is your story in reality. She's right with me. That's what You know, because guess what? I'm going to put, this, that's my boo-boo face, and she ride with me, because guess what? Right now, as we Wait, speak. He just got real soft real quick. That's yeah. my boo-boo face. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, you stay here, <laughs> yeah. man. I got to say this. She might be looking at you. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I mean? You, know, um, you got to shout out to that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, baby. I'm coming home. You can make that dinner. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But on, on, on the real, No, she you take me, me to the Olive Garden. She knew me before I became a SEAL. <laughs> no, she knew me. She met me when I was a SEAL. But she, her, in her opinion, she knew, she felt that this wasn't me. Like, I, this was just a big mistake that I had, I had made. And she came and she rocked with me through my whole bid. You know what I'm saying? So when I got out, like a lot of dudes do a lot of ill stuff and don't rock with the chick who rock with them. Right. So I rocked with her. When she came home, I put the ring on the finger we, and we rocking out right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. You said when you came home or when she came home? When I came home. Oh, I'm right. Damn, she did time too. No, yeah, you no, did no. say you did say. Oh, well, she, she came. came no, no, that's no. what I thought you said. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. All right, that I was a home. typo. That was like a miscommunication. Right, right. How you have no, a typo? Home, she now, what was her name again? <laughs> her name was Tondalea. Oh no, but that's not what you called it. You called her Boo Boo Face. Uh, boo-boo oh, Boo Boo Face. Yeah, that's no, 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 no. He got it. Yeah, it's not your boy. Boo Boo Face. He changed. He wasn't. He wasn't that big guy. For a few seconds, he wasn't that big guy. For a few seconds, he wasn't that big guy that he was talking about. No, that's a Boo Boo Face. <laughs> well, she knows she is. You know. So hold up. So just, I mean, I'm just trying to get it so everybody can picture this, right? Mm-hmm. You went through your academy. You went through the Marines. You was a goody goody. Goody goody. You know I'm saying you went to work, mm-hmm. and then you seen all this criminal activity around you, and you started learning. You know, getting to school a little hard. I'm, I'm, I'm. The reason I'm reiterating this uh-huh. is because prisoners do this too. Prisoners oh, yeah. come in for the wrong reason. They made a mistake. They didn't, they didn't commit a crime. Next, you know, they get in there with all these criminals and they learn mad shit. Yes. And they, and they next, become you know, better criminals. Yeah, and then they come home and they become serial killers and shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or serial robbers yeah. or whatever, however you want to you right. call them. So it does happen. I know this. Yeah. I know this because I, I was one of them. But, the, you know, so as you came in and you learned all of that, you said you went and you did a stick up. That was one incident where you did with the, with the thing, uh-huh. with, the, um, with the badge and the gun and all that from your job. You know what I'm saying? But now... What I want to talk about the three correction officers that you supposedly you pimped. What, Wait, what you made was, you do you that? Pimping too? Okay. What made you do Wait, that? Wait, where, where can I oh, buy this book? Oh, I want, I want, <laughs> no, this is what I want the to say. Hell? Yeah. They accuse you of being a pimp. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna explain to that right. the front page of the Daily News thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, a lot of people use me like, okay, here's a guy who was an officer and an inmate. Right. And that's as far as they go. They really don't read. The story, like us, like, right. like we want to know everything. Um, a reporter told me, listen, I want to put your book in the Daily News. I want to feature your book in the Daily News. Okay, right. it's promo. Okay, good. So she said, okay, I'm sending somebody. I'm coming down to interview tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So I get all snazzy. And she comes, a photographer comes. He take 100 pictures. And I'm like, okay, well, where's the reporter? Oh, no, she's going to call you. And he leaves. Okay. 1 o'clock in the morning, my best friend called me. Negro, yeah. you are on the front page of the paper. I'm like, how? <laughs> she never, she never really right. sat like me talking to, to really yeah, get yeah. the ins and outs. Yeah. And she put the pimp, the pimp, the prostitutes, and pimp the. the see, now I'm gonna tell you where she got it from, though. She read the book, but what it is, she really didn't want to talk to me mm. about it. She just took the juiciest part right. of the she book. She did the in between the lines. And, and, that and, and, talking and about. something there. that would make somebody it, open the, article, the story. You got a. a a chick with an officer with handcuffs and yeah. a sh- no, so yes, I did pimp out females. It's not pimp as in bitch get your ass on the corner and uh, get my money. She gave well, it back more like money, yo, right? you get no, it for yourself. You got money out of it. Yeah. So you pimped her. Well, I was more so like. Well, uh, there wasn't on the corner. There was in the corner of the cell, but yeah. not yeah. in the How corner. You corner. No, listen, How you pimped? Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this story, and you tell me if don't I give them it. any ideas. Go ahead. I will come Hold up for you, Hold on, let me story. Right, jail. Jail got a better communication system than, than you have out here. Definitely. Okay. Right? So. You give him ideas. And, and this is what I'm trying to say. Shh. I'm going to get to the pimping. Like, even some <laughs> officers. Hold up. Even some officers, when you, if you think you're on the low, you're not on the low. Okay. Somebody's looking. Somebody's always peeping. Like, this is my man here. Why he always got cigarettes? Why him right. and Hay would always cool and this and this and that? 
why every time some pop, I go to him and he take care of it for me? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Other people peep that. Why he won't fuck with me and give me no cigarettes or bring me shit? Right. So, word got around to a couple of, well, one female officer first. She was on her thing. When I say doing her thing, she was getting money from officers. So this is before you. Yo, know, wow me, same time. I'm telling you, it's so a. So she was a concurrent. She was already. Rikers so Island is a city inside a city. Man. So she was already selling her ass. Yes. To prisoners yes. And all that? She was already oh, a hoe before wait. him. Well, okay. All right, continue. Like this. Go I'm gonna. I want to take a break, real quick, so everybody can I be on standby. Okay. Shut wait. You can. Wait, take a break. We're gonna take a break, real quick. Okay. Right, it gotta be we want everybody right, to be in suspense for two minutes, so we're gonna take a break, real quick. Can you play um um something from Delorean? Delorean, yeah. I guess yeah. so work. I wasn't going for Delorean. Right. Wait, it was a mixtape. Then play something. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah.
Live with DWI. Live from the BXNY. All right. The people are arguing behind the scenes over here. We're not arguing behind the scenes. Nah. Shout out it's, to Cardi. It's, it's Cripple 3030 on deck. You got set my sexy co host, Nicole. Yes. You they got Jay Gutter straight from the gutter. We're here. They they and we still got Gary Hayward. We yes. took a little break because we had Cartier. He was standing outside. Cartier, the guard, was standing outside. And my wife told me is, is a. Uh, to be suspenseful, but I'm thinking that Jada Kiss is out the door. Like, what's going on? He coming nah. in? You know what I'm saying? But people I'm, know, I'm, I'm, people know so, DSN is where you come, and they're doing the music video outside, and they need some equipment. Yes, they needed yeah. some. You know what's funny? You come to you come to DSN, and you you meet all type of people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You meet people that I never thought I would, I would come across. Yeah. Well, you know I mean, saying? you like to be in everybody's video, so what yeah, makes like sure that you Diddy. come across them? I was well, trying to get in that video right there. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I'm, try- I'm trying to be up yeah. in anything. Not only that, but we, we got some coming September 20th. Well, actually, the, the video, um, yeah, you seen it? That you were yeah, in yeah, there? Yeah, I saw it. And we're gonna play it when we tune in out. But September 20th, we got the next up yeah. to the stage, right? Yeah, next up to the stage coming up September 20th. We have um, the most influential show awards. Uh, it's gonna be here in the X. We can't really give out too many details right now. Tomorrow, we're gonna. Pretty much put out there. Right, so stay in tune to our social medias and stuff. Yeah, we are definitely going to see it. it. Well, you it's all know crazy. that he's going to broadcast we got, it like every day. We're supposed to have Funk Master Flex on there? We have a couple of big Wendy names William? that I'm not going to talk about right now. Oh, okay, okay. That, you see, I'm giving y'all exclusives and shit. Yeah, I can't you know read saying? it. I can't but read. later on, we'll give you some more. You know so you know Cartier the God owes us Jada Kiss to come through. Remember he got, that. He got Jada's hat on and <laughs> shit with the OG, but he but, bring right. Jada on. But anyway. I want to get back to the pimping then. Yeah, now that's Now what, you can finish. We was actually talking off camera, right? That he's going to talk to a few other people that he knows that got similar stories that he's going to try to get them to come on the show. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We were but talking he want, about. They want to know how you had them um, um, getting the money from them in the corner. Well, that is. I'm in the corner of the cell. It wasn't the corner of the I want the juicy shit. Well, basically, it started like this. Well, I'm just going to shameless plug. My second book is called Copstitute. And <laughs> so that's yeah. where you hear about all the pimping. Yeah. But, the right, so, so we can make a movie out of it? Um, well, right now, well, Will Smith has option the rights to do the movie. Wait, what? Will Smith. Will Smith is doing the movie. Yeah, yeah he said it right. He didn't say Bill he, Smith. He said Will not, Smith. Not like sure. French Prince of Bel-Air, Will Smith. No, fuck all that. The people need to hear Will Smith has the yeah. rights to the movie. Yes, yeah. his company over Over Entertainment. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they they contacted me and um, we've been in negotiations for like eight months. I finally Damn. signed with them, so they going they're gonna do the um, the movie to yeah. I'm coming out in that shit. Like yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But back talking that shit. What you, you know, mean? Yeah, like you know, we came, we interviewed you after the fact. We should be in there. I look good on film. I'm you should be in there. Will Smith can sit in your place. That's Listen, cool. They got the right to I'm see telling you how shameless they are. They <laughs> One, but that's ass. what you got to do. That's what? not shameless. You got to do that. I they say, I'm going to wait until you come and see care. us when you're making your rounds because of the movie that nah, they want to Put us in the movie, kid. Put us in the movie. Will Smith can sit here and play you. Yo, listen, we interviewed them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we did that. And then afterwards, you know, we shake hands no, off, off Will camera. Smith is not playing him. Will Smith has the rights to the movie. So I that's what I'm Okay. In the negotiations. Nah, don't, don't try to play me. Get back to the pimping. <laughs> get back to the pimping. We'll get back to Overbrook. Get back to the pimping. Okay, what happened was... Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to put it like this. Rikers Island is a city inside a city. There's right. a whole bunch of stuff. That's how you started going, it, right? Uh, yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff going on in Rikers Island. So, you could be hustling weed. I'm hustling coke. Okay. Somebody else is... Some female is selling her body. Right. You know, she... Because this is how it goes. You're going to know people... From your past, your childhood, your, you know, women gonna know their ex boyfriends, their baby daddies, it's gonna come through there. So now, I don't, I don't know how a woman decides that she's gonna sleep with an MA, because a lot of people, oh, that's the ultimate no no, that's craziness. Because when I was coming through an academy and they teaching you the do's and don'ts and don't do this and don't befriend the image, don't get too comfortable, you know, all that. But the, the, the instructor said, one of you females in here is gonna sleep with an inmate. So all the females, you imagine they say that to you, ain't no way in the world, me, you crazy. Not you only you, but the graduate high school, look around you. Yeah, yeah. Eight yeah, out of those yeah, 10 people exactly. not going to graduate. And that's what they say, <laughs> you know? So when, I, when I'm when i doing my thing, like I said, you know, it ain't going to be low but for too long. Right. So what, one of the females found out that, that I was hustling today. I guess she was had one of her people, and he ran his mouth right. when, when she was doing him a favor or whatever. Right, right. So right. she came to me because I knew all... 
all the heavy hitters. I was um, the housing area I was in. You had two bodies, three bodies, heavy drug case. You facing life and all this stuff. So I was. You knew how to get that money. Yeah, high classification. Yeah, you you had the connects to get the money. So a lot of inmates lie. Yeah, I'm doing big on the street. I'm doing this, but I was there when they was with the dudes who's really doing it. So she wanted me to plug her with the cats that she knew could really give her the money. She knew you were the plug to get to the plug. Yeah. You know, that, like some dudes, they be right. trying to talk to these chicks, but they really ain't got nothing to offer them. They just want some cooch inside the jail. But then you got dudes who really got that paper that said, listen, Ma, I had somebody knock on your door, drop that little 1500 off for this little 15 minutes. And that's how it started. So when I started plugging, I started making sure I mean, it, it she is got better her to money. make 70% than zero. Right. So I, I started making sure she got her money. After for me plugging, percentage. For me After plugging. So I, it's not like I was really like, psh, 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 go get my money. Right. It was a business. Right, right, right. You, but at the business. same time, you if, did it mentally, though. If somebody tried to, <laughs> if somebody tried to dog her mentally. and not, he did it. Yo, she wanted me there just in case somebody tried to get rough with her. You know, they knew I was right outside that door. You with the did pin, you fuck bro? any of them? Huh? Did you fuck any? All of them. Why not? You have to. You got to <laughs> take the product. You got to. <laughs> he had the sample lab. He had the you know, sample lab before he put it out. A little, bit of, good, a little bit of <laughs> that is in that book. A little bit, a little bit. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure kidding. it's gonna be a lot in the second part. Oh yeah, right? and yeah, because two. see, and when you drop that, you know you're coming back. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, no, that, and he's bringing the girls with him. Nah, and this shit he is on film. He's bringing film. the girls with him. You have to come but back. But that man. they might, they might wear a mask or some shit because they don't want people to see their face. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask them. I'm gonna ask them because they did give me permission to use their story for my second book. But I'm not gonna say their name because they still right. there. No, no, no. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to do that. Nah, don't say their name. We good with that. A lot of you. Know? Wait, don't, don't wait, wait, wait. Describe don't. working. <laughs> well, I'm not there no more. So far, they're not making the money. If they were sucking, yeah. fucking, they were doing what the fuck they had to do to make their their, yeah, their, their time doing, available. Like, or, listen, or, what I'm saying, what I'm not, what I'm saying is not brand new. Because even after I got arrested and left, you still see in the paper correctionals getting pregnant, correctionals caught. Uh, there was a guy in Baltimore, not even in Rikers Island. He had two baby mamas in the throw, well, four baby mamas in the jail. They fighting over each other to be with him, and he doing like 20 years in there, and they all in the, in the same jail. So it's not, at first it was crazy, like why would you sleep with an inmate? Now it's kind of, I'm not saying it's the norm that you're supposed to, but it's not as, as shocking as it was years ago. Like why would you be sleeping, let alone get pregnant by Emmy. I knew females there that I was cool with that got pregnant by Emmy, but you never found out because they resigned. They left before it blew up. And then later I, on, you see them in the street I've seen that a lot. with the dude. I've seen that a lot. The only thing yeah. is that I, I just never seen them get paid for it. They, yeah. they did it for free. Nah. They, they, I they had did a, it for They were cool stupid. I had a system. <laughs> They're doing it anyway. Might as well get paid. Yeah, I had a system. You, you send it through Western Union. I get a crackhead. <laughs> go pick up the money. Once I get the money, then you go ahead. You can take care of my gear. Yeah. So when you did your two years, uh huh, I respect um, it. Did you do any? Um, did were you run any female officers? Um, nah. When I was up there, like I said, it's a little stricter up north. Yeah, definitely. You, 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 I, I was you, just you, curious because you know this. Listen, it might it, be it happens. But there's some loopholes. It, it, it happens. It, but but it's a little strict. And plus, I didn't do that much time up north. I did it about 20 months up north. So when I was up there, I wasn't trying to get into nothing. Basically, people didn't Do my know, time, get out. That's it. Yeah. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? I was worried about what I was going to do when I get out and stuff like that. And when, it, when I came out, I got my CDL. I work construction. And now, right now, I work. I got another city job. When did you start writing the book? Was it before? I wrote that inside. The, I, wrote it, I wrote that. I wrote three of them. I wrote, actually, four. I wrote three of them. Four of them while I was inside the jail. Inside in what capacity? Uh, Working or locked up? I was locked up. Locked up. I was locked up. I wasn't thinking about writing, writing a book when I was. Well, you were doing the shit. I'm busy running around, acting the fool. You know, listen, I was reckless. I'd be in gambling spots with my gun out on the side. Everybody knew me. I'm shooting dice. What's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Uh, I'm ah, a Sagittarius. That's you know. why y'all motherfuckers are crazy. Looney so, Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> you know. you're, you're not that far off. Fuck but you. <laughs> Yeah, but all right. So now, where where can they get the book? Well, the book is at Barnes and Noble, all major uh, stores. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, you download it to your Kindle, your phone, or whatever. is It's everywhere. All you gotta do is Google it. My name, my face, everything can come up. The book can come up. You know, and stay tuned for the movie. And I just seen the price yeah. of this. Yep, motherfuckers better go pay for this shit, including you. 
Right. I don't want to pay for it. I didn't ask for a free book. Well, I'm, I got the free book. He didn't. I did. But, um, no, yeah, just to clarify that. You did it. I did. It's your yeah, guest. I get robbed on the book. regular. You see this shit? Regular. But anyway, oh, yeah. um, you get, you get also, every we need yeah. that revenue. Also, you can go to my page on Facebook, Corruption Officer page on Facebook for if you want to hear everything that's going on, not only just in Rikers Island, but all over the world. There's corruption, there's craziness, there's a whole bunch of stories that's going on all over the world, you know. Do you do you feel that social media has um in any way made this um bigger? Yeah, I guess that's bigger. But well, social media has made everything bigger. It's, like, it's nothing you can't do on your own right now. You, you don't need big to companies. Anybody in the world. So man. anybody yeah. who's like people who want to know about being a correction officer. If you're married to a correction officer, if you want to know what's going on inside the jail, that's the truth. I'm giving it to you raw. Uh, it's been validated. You know, what I'm saying it's not like I'm making up stories because. This is what I went to jail for. You know, it's, it's in my record. It's on my record. Right. You know, so with social media, I guess when you punch in corruption anywhere, it's going to pop up if you want to know. So did it make it bigger? Like, social media makes everything bigger. You can be become big from inside your own apartment, your own house, if you do it right on social media. So is that right. like your hashtag, corruption officer? That's exactly. That is my hashtag. <laughs> so there you but go. Then, hashtag, then, corruption yeah. officer. You find everything. No, I'm saying, because when I promote the show after, yeah, hashtag but corruption then, officer along with ours, you know yeah. what I mean? Right. And people yeah. you connect, then we start getting his fans. Yeah, I'm watching on YouTube, like. Hey, well, he said he's gonna try to put um bring people that got similar stories. Yeah, oh, I, you know what I'm saying. saying? <laughs> they got a so chance. Many, they're gonna get so many corrections officers locked up up north with me. They was like, "Y'all need your own union." <laughs> yeah, it was, I was locked up with. I was locked up with a lot of correction officers that did dirt, and then I I started doing my homework. And you know, when New York City had the death penalty, the first one to get the death penalty back in the day was a correction officer. He walked into the club, saw his girl, and they man, expect he, you he, to he abide shot five people. Things to a certain degree. You know, so. Isn't that part of your oath? Like, you're supposed to abide to certain things. Right? Like, they look at y'all, like, separate from us. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? They put us on a pedestal. Right. But that pedestal don't fell over right now, B. I'm, yeah. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Obviously. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> but, <laughs> they're out there walling. See, and we, we didn't even speak about everything. We just, yeah. all we did was touch on the pimp shit. And then we touched about the no, because that's the, book the two. We can't really shit. talk about it. Yeah, no, but and the book two, you I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back. He gonna, shit. Yeah, that's all you were. No, not about, at all. I want to read this book. Yeah, and but I want then, everybody out there to get this book. And then when they get the and movie, then part two. they're gonna watch us all in the movie, right? Yeah. You gonna right. add that in your and contract? Right? He's worried about the plug. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to get the story. Well, me and him might be in the same movie anyway with Ben Stiller that escaped from Danamora Prison. Right. About those two inmates. That's it. That's when I was on CNN, yeah. like every day. You auditioned? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, how, we both, that's yeah. how we met. We both yeah, went to audition oh, for that. Shit, yeah. Yeah. They, said, they said that. It's, like a, Showtime, it's a Showtime yeah. miniseries that they you did. You were worried about the pimp Escape, status. Escape right. from Danamora. Yeah. But, you know, unfortunately, we got to cut the time. We had a great interview. Hey, sir. Do saying? we really? Yeah. 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 Tell them where they can find you. But Gary's definitely going to come back. Definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We got, I got his phone number. That's so it. Gonna We're going to be in contact, and now we Facebook Let's friends. That, that number changed. Let's yeah. change his number. Was that check clear? <laughs> oh, oh, no, that? we'll just hashtag <laughs> corruption, um, corruption Corru officer, that's it. That's it. That and then we'll be able to find that's it. it. I had a good time. Thank you for having me. Once you party with Will Smith, that number's going to change. Yo, Will Smith started doing the movie. You know, I'm going to be hitting your shit up right, every day. Uh, what's up? Where, where, where can they find you at? Let them know where annoying. they can find you um, at. You know, <laughs> on Facebook, him. Gary Haywood. Uh, on Facebook, Corruption Officer. On Instagram, Corruption Officer. Google my name, Gary Haywood. Everything comes up. I'm not hard to find. I'm around. I'm from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? So Next okay. time next time you come back, we'll definitely try to see if we can get you for them two hours. You know what I'm saying? So if that's a get fact. A fuller, a fuller yeah, I need full two hours talking to this bring, man. If we bring the if we not bring the whole Not even if we bring Will Smith and everybody that. else. You know what I'm saying? We don't need no damn Will Smith. We're bigger than Will. He bringing Stop in the worrying about the hoes. And he's the bringing in the hoes. I like hoes. I'm sorry. He's bringing in the hoes. That's what he was doing. That brings in viewers. They were working. They was helping him make money, man. It was, listen, it was, it was an organization, okay? They were it was a vessels. business. You're not <laughs> he had an LLC, okay? <laughs> they were his vessels. An no LLC? Did you, did you get an LLC? I don't know. <laughs> no, I have my own publication company. Quick. Yeah, we don't go to commercial. Got right? I got a, he, he got music. the books. I got, a, I got a book publishing company. Yeah. Hey, with publication. Oh, what? You know, I got a couple of... We got a got radio show. We got book. Yeah, right. Because what it is, is a lot of inmates in there doing life. And they got books and stacks and stacks of books that they wrote. So... What I'm doing is they contact me, 
we signed a contract 50 50 but see i'm doing most of the work you, while you locked up in there i'm getting your book cover i'm printing no, I'm hold on do you, you do 50 50 with everybody or just the inmates well it's just with the inmates because my thing is they in there i can easily take advantage of an inmate you know what right. i'm saying give them a little 10 percent because basically i'm the one making the book cover i'm the one getting your book type edit i'm, I'm paying for everything to be printed up and everything you're not doing nothing but sitting in there but this is your story. I'm not robbing you of anything. It's just that I'm putting the work because the way I look at it, if you come to me, you want an outlet. You want people to know your story. You want, right. and then if you're in there, it's an income coming in. But the way you got to structure it, because I know that as an inmate, you're not supposed to be doing business. Right. So what it is, you set set it up with your cousin, uncle, brother, whoever you trust. I'm doing business with them, but you know it's really with you. Right. And they give you, they make sure you get your money. So someone that's out and wants to put up a book, what percentage do you give them? Uh, that's I don't negotiate. know. That's, that's that negotiate. has to be negotiated. Yeah, that has to be because because it got to be what are they doing? They out. So they you know, can like, do their own footwork. And it, exactly, it's just they like the music industry it. right now. You got to come with your own following, million vi viewers, yeah, and videos, you're give you a all that. Deal. And then, so. you know, right now, to tell you true, I have a company, but is it really worth it? That's why I was right now. I was just strictly dealing with inmates because anybody else who got a book, you could do the same thing I did. Before, right. I, before I got a book deal, I stood out there on Hunt Twenty Fifty in my little orange and and blue suit with my shackles, I made six hundred dollars a day selling books on the corner. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, sounds like an idea. Shut up! <laughs> Don't give yeah. this man. You Yo, know what? we but really listen, got. You know what, Gary? Now, you gotta come back because yes, I have mad you questions. Gotta come back. We gotta. All right. Yeah, we really got the time. But, we gotta. Have. But we, we're gonna go to break. Damn. We're gonna kick some music real quick. We're gonna throw some music. Yeah, out. I want somebody to take a we're picture. We're gonna get our next. Well, no, our no, next no. Step. We got that. We got that. We'll, we'll have that taken care of in a second. All right. But thank you.
Matrix. The Matrix. We in that Bronx, that BX. I mean, act like you know it, act like you want it. Okay? Holla. You heard? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, back from my break. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, Cripple 3030 back on deck. My sexy co host, Nicole. Yeah. We got Jay Gutter from Straight from the Gutter. Yeah, baby. And then we got, I guess we got Mikey D. Yeah, yeah. And then we got Legacy. Shut somehow, yeah. somehow, Legacy minus to finesse his way. <laughs> I'm back, back baby. I'm yeah. back. Baby, you know? <laughs> Yo, a week after. I'm, I'm the yeah. circle. I'm the I'm the center of the circle. You know what I'm saying? That's baby bro right there, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Well, we're only missing E Rex. E Rex, yeah. yo, shout yeah. out to E Rex, yeah. man. Shout, shout out, man. Shout out to E Rex. Shout out E Rex. And yeah. actually, after the um, towards the end of the show, we actually gonna play the video again. again. Dope, yeah, that's dope, what we dope, video dope. Again. I, what did you guys we posted? I think it was you yesterday. There was an article about was it Rex? Yeah, and man. You? Well, all of us, man. We just um, been mentioning all the all the different uh. All the different outlets that have just been showing us love is tremendous, Who man. Who was it that, that published that? It well, was uh, According to Hip Hop, I yes. think the one you're talking Dope. about. And then mm -hmm. uh, this morning woke up to find out that we're number two on Hip Hop Gods right now. So yeah, yeah. Oh. shout out to Hip Hop Gods and everybody yeah, yeah. else who's been holding oh, us down for the support, crazy. man. Nice. Well, uh, yes. Hold up. Oh, wait, and I wanted to thank you for showing love to us. Oh, that's right. I did notice that. That's a fact. Like we were you know? actually out eating, and I was like, look, babe, and I showed it's them. It's the reciprocation, the reciprocation factor, man. You know, that that's that's big for me. Yo, check it out. Before we get started, I just wanted to do two birthday shout outs if I possibly okay. could. Because without, without these two, I wouldn't be here right now. So the first shout out is going to go to my father, Victor, up in heaven. Peace, daddy. August 11th, 1948. God bless. And that second shout out, if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't be here right now. Hip hop, August 11th, 1973. Happy birthday, hip hop. Word up. So we had to do that. Definitely. Okay, okay. But I ain't gonna lie, right? Because as soon as I, I found that Mikey D said, yo, he gonna come on, I said, yo, damn, we got a legendary battle rap. I started yeah. hitting up all the artists I know. <laughs> like, yo, you wanna, you wanna step up to the mic? Yeah. We got a battle rapper in, in, in the building. They're yeah. like, nah, nah, I ain't with that. I don't yeah, do that. Don't no, for that. real, that, those were the actual yeah. text messages. Nah, 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 nah. And you know, you know what's funny? When, when he first brought that to my attention, I was like, I don't do that either. <laughs> but then again, you know, Sometimes it's just, you, in, it's, 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 it, it, you know, in once you. I'm here, it might be a different story, right, you know right. what I mean? Because I can't back down, you know, but I'm glad it worked out right, that right. way. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> but you Fact. still got some bars for us by the end, right? Yeah, yeah, we could do something. Yeah. We could we, do we, something. We like, to, we like to give our viewers some of the bars, a little taste of the skill, you know what I mean? Yeah, we can make that happen. Oh, yeah, no doubt. But, why, why, you know, why don't you tell them about... Not, not Mikey D. Yeah. Tell them about Mike, Mikey D's structure. Well, the Mikey D structure came about in like 1987 you know I, w I was terrorizing MCs terrorizing microphones and I just thought it would be a, a good name Mikey destruction like the destruction of something but right. Mikey destruction you know so it just fitted and then just recently um Halloween of 2016 I finally dropped my first solo album titled Day of Destruction and I spelled destruction without the E. Right. So this album was basically just to let, it was to answer a lot of people's questions like where's real hip hop and to also let people know that I still had that battle capability, bar for bar, I could still hang out and it was just one of those things, you know. Right. So that's what the destruction is all okay, about. Okay. So now that I actually met you on the um on the video shoot yeah yeah for the um for the E-Rex project right uh, with the Conquerors right now I didn't I honestly I, I I you looked it familiar to me yeah yeah but then I, when I went back and I, I started looking at the bio I started doing the the, the background I was like oh shit <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. a legend over here yeah like, yeah back. man and, and, and you're very humble oh because very you, like I know like I saw legacy you guys are very humble. You Look, don't I mean? say that around her. She tells me not to say that. I keep but, telling her. And I mean, that's my opinion, but you know, as me being a wife, I feel the same way against him. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, say, I, I say I'm humble. She said, you can't be humble if you say you're humble. So, uh, you know. You know, that, that sounds just like him. A bit. But for me meeting you out there and then um, the, the way that I went and introduced myself and the way that you guys did and then you guys came on our show, you guys are very humble. Thank and you. And you don't throw your background in somebody's face to show proof of go, this is what I have behind me. Nah, you know what I'm saying? This nah, is just right. me. Nah. And you know, like I didn't know everything that my husband knows now. Right, right. It, I just now, if I would have started spinning a few bars, he would have went over there and tore my mic up though. Nah, I wouldn't have like, done that. Yo, yo, come over here, Bob. You, you want you want to battle with me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nah, we I, please, please don't I wouldn't have did it like that. 
What, what, what is it with you? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Shots Maybe you could do south. some training with him in the studio, though. He needs some extra help. But he did good in his first round, but he needs some yeah. extra nah, help. Nah, I did. She's talking about I did one song. Yeah. I put one song out because I was doing the mixtape for the show. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm paying for the mixtape and everything. I wrote a, uh, I wrote a song when I was locked up. Right. right. I said, you know what? Let me put it out there. And I put it on the mixtape. You know what I'm saying? That's what oh, I'm okay. It, it's, That's it's cool. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I got to hear that. Yeah. Turn it like yeah. on a bucket list. Like, okay, have you ever did a song? Yeah, I did that. You know yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. fact. I, I don't care. If, even if it, I was like, yo, even if it goes triple cardboard, I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just did that. You know what I'm saying? Cardboard. Yeah, no right. doubt. I went double cardboard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Cardboard. It's all good. I had a few of those. Right. <laughs> I had a few of those. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, doubt. We all you learned a you couple know. of songs in the notepad. Yeah. We wish we didn't write. I come back sometimes and I'm looking at my book. You know, I'll be I'm looking through them. I'm like, oh, this is this is tight. Oh, all right, I like this. But what the hell was I thinking when I wrote this <laughs> shit? You know? Was, it yeah. happens to the best of us, man. Michael, but how how does it feel to be not only a legendary battle rapper, but the longevity you've had in the business? Like well, actually, it feels great, man, just to be blessed with, with my health and, you know, to, to, to maintain all these years. And the only thing I do is just remain myself. You know what I mean? I, I don't try to do what's trending or nothing like that. I just do what I've been doing, and, and, and I just, that's you it. But I'm, I'm blessed, man. That's all I can say, man. I'll be 50. How many years have been that you've been in here? Oh, man, I've been, what? We're we talking, we talking like 1980, 79, 80, so... Over 35 years I've been well, doing yeah, this. Yeah, because I was born in 80, so 37 years. Yeah, you know, yeah. so. Uh, come on, Sean. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, come on, man. Get, get, a little, get a little braggadocious, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, come but on, it's man. just. 1988 it's just, New Music yeah. Seminar champion of the <laughs> world, you know what I mean? Lyrical champion of the world. You know, I mean, I'm from the Bronx. He, you know, my, my bro's from Queens. He beat Melly Mel. You know, I, I mean, it, it, it fucked up my childhood See? for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But you it was all fucked up my childhood. But it was all good. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Nah, you know how you really feel. Let that fire wild about him. Let that fire wild. You know? Yeah, you know? yeah that, that that was that was that was something. You know, yeah, I wasn't. You got to toot your own horn. Something. I wasn't gonna bring yeah, it up. I'll be but you telling know how innocent that is, though. Wait, you like, wanted to talk too because yeah. you, didn't, you didn't toot your own horn when you was on the show. Yeah, well, we had to I, find out on your bio. I tell you, I tell you like this. You know, um. The Conqueror is probably my first record that's taken off to the level that it's taken off at, you know? And the other thing is I have a good example. You see, I got my bros, my older bros, and the people no from doubt. the first generation keeping me humble, you know, and, and telling me exactly what he tells me. He's telling, off air, he'll tell me the same thing. Just be yourself, man, and it mm -hmm. works. You know, but what, what I, now, on my brother's other hand, you know, I, I tell him not to be humble sometimes <laughs> because yeah. he's, he's almost humble to a fault. Um, okay, I, I, I'll give you an example. We were in Brooklyn, what was this, last summer? The, the barbecue? Oh, at the big joint. Yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah, large, yeah. Large professor throws, uh, uh, it was uh, something celebrating the, the live saying? at the barbecue. Sagittarius. Right. Like Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody's so, so, Right. So, oh, so nice. I, yeah, I'm a Taurus, yeah. so I get along. I'm grounded. I go along with the punches. You know what I'm saying? But um, we're That's at the bar we're at the barbecue. Yeah, very stubborn. We're at the barbecue, and we're chilling out. Mind you, we got in, you know, like, we get love. You know what I'm saying? But it's nothing crazy. We were here, just the same people you see here. We're yeah, standing was, here, yep. so you know me. I'm a little bit more of a person. I get in the mix, so I seen Psycho Less. Me and Psycho Less already had a friendly, you know, rapport. So I said, "Yo, what's up, man?" I said, "Yo, do you, you know, you mind if you take a picture with my brother?" He said, "Yeah, yeah, no problem." I tell you, you know, so I said, "I, right, no doubt, I'm gonna go get him." You know what I'm saying? I said, "Yo, Mikey D." He said, <laughs> yeah, yeah. "He said, yo, my nigga, you got Mikey D right over there." Mm -hmm. I said, "Yeah." Yeah. He said, yo, man, go bring that nigga over here. Yeah. He brought him over here. Bro, I never seen no shit like that. We pulled over, and God bless. That was the last time we saw Prodigy alive, too. Absolutely. God bless, he was right there, too. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, but, but yeah. when they got off the stage, I'm seeing the legends that are there performing. When they get off stage, like, I went, oh, from, ask, I went from asking Psycho Less, yo, can you take a picture with my brother, to all of them being like, yo, can I take a picture with you? Yeah, you know, it's crazy. That, that's real. Like, when you sit there, so for me, I feel like, Listen, now, when I, now when I, I get to that level so of years in, maybe I'll be a little bit, you know. Yeah. Just a little bit. You <laughs> How could you not be humble when Absolutely, man. he's so humble? Absolutely, man. Yeah. You know he what I'm saying? He probably hey, look hey. at you like, really, little nigga? Like, yo, for <laughs> <laughs> nah, Get your weight up. Nah, 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 nah. It's, it's more we good. Like, I just see how Queens mm. appreciates him. That's what it is. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. When we go anywhere that's hip hop and, and he shows up, it's just an instant reaction that you just, it's like something that money can't buy. You know what I'm saying? It's something that if you're a person or you're a spectator really doing your homework and trying to study or trying to yeah. come up, you, when I you know, first you're taking it back. Like, yeah, we wow, man, they the love show. this dude. You know what I'm saying? When I that's first how you saw do it. it. I'm yeah. like, oh, somebody else that's, you know, 
with that Mike name. Mike D with the name. Yeah. I'm like, that ain't the same battle rap I remember. Not at all. Right. And then when you put that, I'm like, oh shit, it's really Mike D. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Like, no doubt. Like, 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 I was reading the yeah. video. And I was here when they did the video, but I wasn't really out there. Like, right, right, right. I really don't care. Like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> do a job and I keep it pushing. Like, who's no, that? No, no, you were broke up too sometimes. You were acting like a movie last week and Chris was here. That's the homie, though. Yeah. Yeah, you know, my man Chris Rivers, shout out to Chris, man. Yeah, That's my yeah, dude yeah, right there. He's a friend that I'm a fan of. This yeah. is a different, completely different story. Word. <laughs> you know what? Well, I'm going to perk my lips, but I'm going to catch you at the end of the show because he <laughs> yeah. was not acting like that last week. That battery right there, that battery is mad low. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, there yeah. uh, we go. There we go. We in, we back. Don't want nobody to miss out. <laughs> but that's what we got the backup right here. Oh, yeah, I, I see you. I see. Yeah, and we got the real. Yeah, we got. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, no, what's up? Yeah, no ahead. doubt. We good. Always thinking ahead. <laughs> yeah. The wife, right? That's it. Always yeah. thinking ahead. The strategy. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You want you see? I got mines over there, you yes, know. Yes, yes, and that cute, adorable little baby. Right that little there. ah, we gonna fight. I was trying to get a oh, baby. Oh, as a matter of fact, she, she took her first step today. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, she took her Shout first out. step. Wow. Shout out to Ming Ming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, her name is Charlena. We call her Ming Ming because she looks like a, you know, part Japanese baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know? yeah, that's Ming Ming right there. No, but that's gonna keep you young. Cause now you so gotta that, have to that, run that, after that's that all the time. Yeah. And her and my grandson. Forget about it. It's Over. it's. It's, so yeah. Said, so I said today, today oh, is going in oh. the books, in the history books. Yes. Yeah. What's that? That she took her first took step. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. That's, that's, that's cool. Right so y'all, y'all, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Y'all right, right, right there with us. Yeah, that's what's up. Word up. Yeah, write that in your bio next time, man. That, yeah, that, that, that might work. He always got stuck in somewhere. I mean, like, you, you see everything. how homeboy I was and I came yeah, up to so, you on the yeah, side no note. Doubt, no you didn't even know who I was because you were talking to my husband as him right, being right, right. The, uh, a man. You know right, what I'm saying? And right. no, I never take it offensive. But I network more than he does. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I went up to you on in between. Actually, I kind of ran out, even though I didn't throw myself in the Nah, video nah. Stuff. You were smooth. Like, like you could definitely tell you did it before. You know what I'm saying? You could see that for sure. Yeah. 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 Um, I think like me yeah. and Cardi I'm mad that I ain't throw myself in the right way. Season pros, you know what I'm saying? When we went we went to the Jada um summer stage and I got to network with quite a few people and it was kind of um coincidental or funny that I was humble because people knew who I was. Oh, nice. absolutely. And man. I was like, you know, you know, you ain't humble. Yeah, I am. <laughs> You I am humble. Yeah, I might crazy, act right? like a bitch very much so, but yeah. you I am very a humble. Yeah, but I mean, you have to, though, you know? You have to keep a, a, a persona, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't and let them step over you. Know, yeah, you can't let anybody step over you. As, as Jay says a lot, when my husband wasn't here, I do talk about my husband. Right. And when I came up to you, oh, even not knowing you, yeah. then not one of the first things I said was me and my husband. Watch the whole film. Because you know what? I guess I'm proud to say that he is my husband. That's true, but that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? The daughter or none of that other shit. But I, I got a serious question. The gangster though. rapper? Yeah. But you went from battle rapping, oh, Mikey D, right? Mikey D went from battle rapping, and then you, you mentioned to me that you was trying to switch that image and just concentrate on, have people concentrate on the music that you're putting out. What make you switch it? Well, what it is is, is like a lot of times when you, when, you, when you come from battle rapping backgrounds, you know, a lot of people say that those battle rappers can't make hit records. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, Exactly, Good but opinion. I've been I've been doing battle rapping since since I came out. You know what I mean, and I feel that since I'm mature now, it's time for me to make some music, some real music. Not that I'm crossing over, not that I'm selling out, but because I can make good music and not right. just be aggressive on the microphone that's the reason why i came out with the day of destruction album to get all of that off my back so now i can start fresh it's like so a new me you just destroy your, the, the past image and now you start yeah fresh. i want i want to start out fresh you know i'm gonna be like i said i'm gonna be 50 in november gotcha. but talent and and your dreams don't they don't have deadlines and expiration dates man so i feel like that's i can make some mature music you know, you got a lot of younger cats running around playing music and their parents hate it for some reason. Right. But I want to be the dude that their parents can listen to and right. still appreciate hip hop. Because right. it's all hip hop at the end of the day. And this is what I do. I'm not going to quit because I'm 50. Right. You, I'm just going to get better, you know. So that's what I want to focus on. now has taken that step, like rock and roll, for instance. They've been performing, they're, 90, they're 100, looking like they're about to die on stage. And people appreciate that. Yeah. Jay Z yeah. does the album at 44, and everybody's like, damn, he's still rapping? Yeah, yeah. Well, so um, do you feel like we're finally taking that step to where know, we appreciate y'all at a certain age? Yeah, unfortunately, 
you know, it's it's fact that hip hop is the only genre of music that has that problem. I don't know what that, that issue is all about, yeah, but that's nowadays, that's corny. If you, but if you have a five year, ten year run in, in our in our sector, they try to put you out. They but try that's to say, yo, you know, they that's gonna kick you, you out the door. You, I don't get it. You guys it. are very much right. I I know I'm going off subject, but I was watching TV yesterday, and there was an old group that they were out in like the '60s, right, the '70s, and they had the record deal and all that. The record label went um, bankrupt. Right. And they came back all these years later, and they still made it. You know, right, right. They they were like, you know, we're here, and we want to show proof that it doesn't go away no matter how old you are. Exactly, exactly. Right. And you know, unfortunately, hip hop doesn't get that type of love. But then again, you got to look at Kane and Slick Rick and all of these dudes. When they do a show, they sell out still. Right. But yeah. they doing their their the old records. The shows, yeah. Well, you know, you know a lot of those like, is it's unfortunately it's it's that. it's unfortunately it's. Across seas where they still appreciate the right. authenticity no, Rick of the music. Did this stage and I, and he, I love he, he, yeah, exactly. Rick. I, well, I'm rocking with Slick Rick next Saturday, so well, where you know we're gonna be out. We're gonna be in Baisley Park, out in Queens, is it man. After the show, because I'll definitely go <laughs> next Saturday. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it might be around the same time as y'all oh, on. Okay. Y'all on from three to three to five. Three to five. Well, yeah. I think. Well, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, you might you might be able to get there, you know, jump a on the Rick, bridge. What is, for instance, Slick right? Rick. Slick Rick comes out, does his old records, gets mad love. Yeah. If he comes out and does a new record, right, he does not get the same love. Yeah, that's crazy. I that's I, I crazy don't I don't I don't get it. I don't you know but I just don't get it. Storytelling is the I same think concept, I think it's just that people they, people start getting used to hearing you in a certain manner. Yeah. And as you mature, remember your your voice matures, your skills mature. Your skills yeah, yeah, mature. yeah. Unless they look at you as a new person, people they still expecting to hear you like that same Mona Lisa guy. Yeah, but you know that was because those are the songs that mean. Because this yeah. is what the people remember. I'm saying like you know I I'm a, I'm a Slick Rick fan too. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, I, right. I know a lot of his songs off the top of the head. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm expecting to hear. If I hear something different, I'm like. Is that really slick, Rick? You know right, right, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but that's not cool to that, me. Yeah, man. that's, I, that's cool. why. I, that's why I'm just gonna take a different approach. I'm gonna step outside of the box, do something different, and I'm gonna let people get to know Mikey D. Not the destruction, not the battle dude, but Mikey D. Like the person that y'all right. met today, right. the person that I am. That's what I want my people to get to know. Not the the the, the battle and and all of the you your know project coming out. Yo. Uh, I'm looking forward well, to if you, well, if you well if you know the, the the conqueror is already out, but right. you know, but um, we're gonna get back to that because you know I got to tell a little oh, story yeah, about that. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. But um, right now I'm I'm in the I'm in the trenches. I'm deep in the trenches. Uh, how can I say it? I'm like peroxide in the cut right now, waiting to bubble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm experimenting with some new things, and um, hopefully y'all will get something by next spring. You okay. know what I'm saying? Hopefully. You're going, you're going to mixtape right EP album. I'll probably do both. I might just do it all. I might do features, solo uh mixtape, and then just drop an album. If someone wants to do a feature with Mikey D, how can they reach out to you? Yeah, they can hit me up, man, direct, man. You could you can hit me on any social media outlet except for Facebook. I don't do Facebook, but on Twitter and um Instagram, hit me at the real underscore Mikey D. I answer all of my inboxes. I answer all comments and all of that. So yeah, we can make you that happen. Personally, or you have some or like a minute? No, I, I do it myself. Um, on my Twitter account, I use Crowdfire, you know, just to welcome them to the page. Yeah. But then when, when they start hitting me, the then yeah, well, you know how that go. <laughs> but then when they start hitting me with stuff that makes sense, not even makes sense, but just I know that it's genuine and sincere. Then I hit them back. But when you got these, you know, you got some people that just want to talk trash or follow me and you can get a thousand followers. I, I don't do that. Delete. I don't do the, you want to see my photos? You want to see pictures of my breasts? <laughs> I delete those, you know. No, and now we're going to get back to cracking up, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> that's so that's, where, that's, where that's just me. What made, what made y'all two get together? Well, this dude right here, um, I used to rock with, with, his, with his uncle, Devastating Tito. And okay. um, so Tito, he had he, he he was about to do one of the hip hop honors, and they had a contest, and I think it was with Deborah Coco Slater. Yeah, yeah, it was. The first time I actually met Legacy was at my release party with uh, Calm Before the Storm. He was with the other brother. He introduced me to you. I was like, this dude looked just like Tito, yeah. you know. And um, <laughs> they they told me he was nice, but I didn't I didn't get a chance to hear him that night. And right. then after that, 
Deborah Coco Slater, she had a contest with a bunch of rappers that were trying to get a spot in the hip hop honors to perform. I happened to be a judge along with my partner D Money and um, Valley Bangers at the time. He was with a group, him, his brother, and a young lady. And when I heard them audition, I was blown away from that point on. The first time I heard them, I was like, yo, this dude right here is nice. And then, you know, once you speak to him, he's very knowledgeable of, of things. You know, he, he's get with me. I like young cats with, with old souls. You know what I mean? Right. So the stories that we able to trade, you know, that, that kind of attracted me. And then we just started hanging out. I started bringing him to Queens and stuff like that. And, you know, from that point on. Yeah, and he really was, gave me the key to Queens. From, from the beginning of mm -hmm. the Day of Destruction days, when, I, when, when it was only a thought, he was one of the first people that I brought, brought it to his attention, and he stuck it out with me from that day to the end of the project. So he's seen the birth of it. He was there with me. He, you know, he gave me some pointers and right. helped me out. So we just been cool for a few okay. years, man. Like, so y'all were just destroying real. shit. So it's destruction and devastation. Devastating Tito yeah, was out. Man. Okay. Feel his four days. Yeah, yeah. I wish we could find that song that y'all have together, man. Oh, oh, got him saying, hey. No, the other one. Y'all had that, and then remember that it was a song where y'all were just literally going back and forth. There was no hook. Ah, oh, man, we we did a few we joints. That. Yeah, I, I got to dig We got to dig into the archives for that. We got to dig into the archives, but yeah, you know. Well, you want to start digging. You know, that was, <laughs> that was basically, <laughs> he got it right. Like, he got it right. That was pretty much, that was pretty much it. But, um, you know, I, I want to say ahead of time, like, from, I, on my side, I knew that he was meant to cross my path from the first time I met him, from the release. Because what he didn't tell y'all, there was another part where once we met, even though I didn't rhyme, he was like, yo, you want to hear something? Oh, yeah. So we, we didn't bounce. We went around the corner and, I, you know what I'm saying, we got in the car. You know, like real hip hop heads do, mm -hmm. put the windows down. I'm in the passenger seat. And, and he, don't don't forget, I didn't have heat that no year. Heat. <laughs> Remember the year I didn't have no heat? <laughs> yo, I, yo, and it was brick I outside. Winter, bro. <laughs> I know, you know what I'm saying? Real hip hop. No shit is real. But real yeah. hip hop shit, you know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and, and what I heard was so dope that I, I, I literally couldn't leave the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this stuck, is like, yeah, like yo, this ooh. I don't want to leave because this, call, yeah, man. this shit is too crazy. Like, I'm like, yo, you hear what this dude is saying? And then, like I said, everything else, you know, once he gave me the key to Queens, and I went there, man. That you know, I met my, I met my legend. I met like legends I looked up to on the Queens side twice over, like to the point that I would have never been able to, you know, like I would have never been able to well, have conversations. Never, you, you're making nah, your own nah. legacy. Like, like I mean, point. I mean, in the sense of like, you know, when you meet somebody for the first time. Right. There's just a certain, it's a rapport you could build right. with them. Right. Where he's known them 30 plus years. So them be, him being like, yo, that's my little brother. That's that cosign. Yeah, yeah right. their reaction yeah, 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 turns yeah. completely different. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm able to get to know the them. The handshake is different. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. you said it. Yeah. The handshake different. That's I, the best right. way to say it. I think that, that that's the older persona because, I mean, you guys have um, the old... I guess the old school. Um, the old soul. Yeah. The right. Like, I mean, now, like, we're going back to Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh, I've met them all, and they can sit here and have a humble conversation with you. Right. And you wouldn't even know, if you didn't know who they were, you wouldn't know who exactly. that they, they are, that person, because they're yep. very humble. Yep. You guys are very These humble. Young dudes ain't like, humble. When you found out about his background, how did you feel? About, you know who, what I'm me? Saying? No, when you found out oh. about his legendary. Well, I mean. You was, was I, you thrown I, off because he, well, he was humble? Oh, I, I mean, I. <laughs> I was surprised at how smart he was. And like for a young dude like that, some of the conversations that we had really knocked me off my pivot. I was like, wow, this dude, you know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. and and it's just, Thank you, sir. it was like a mutual respect. Like I had respect for him, like I would have gave Mo D. You know what I'm saying? And this is a young dude. Right. Now for me to give a young dude props like I would give Mo D, right. that's big, you know what I mean? So. I was like, yeah, this dude right here is... Yeah, he he's, spit a few bars last week. Oh, he's I'm pretty, nice. I'm pretty sure we're going to convince him to spit a few bars today. Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? But he he was fire. Yeah, yeah, he's and dope. that was off the top he, of the head. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Do you guys think you. that yeah. you guys can off the top of your head collaborate something right now? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't really do yeah, that, but I mean, we probably could. I mean, I'm just curious. Yeah. You, just you know. throw it out there, you know, Man. something that we've never had anybody do. I, right. Man, it's been like... 30 years, and, and I used to freestyle with, with a 40 bottle at hand, but I mean, I could try the sober <laughs> thing. I ain't up to the water now. Yeah. yeah. Sober thing. I could try I mean, the sober thing. If you go to commercial, I'll run up to the store real quick. <laughs> no, nah, I don't drink anymore. I'm five years, five years sober. Just to throw it out there. I drink it for him. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so, what do you want to be? 
Can we got that? beats. You got what? You said you could throw a bar back and forth, you know? Go oh, nah, Legend. Yo, each other's vibes? Yo, Legend, do, do what you do. You already know, man. We don't even need no beat. I already know how you do. Just go uh -oh. off your head and I'll follow you. But I don't. You go with it on the spot. Wherever you go, but I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to do. It's like, just play the beat, yo. And just go on the beat. Do what you do. Do what you do. Stop playing with me. Gonna throw a beat up there? Would that make it easier for you? It don't matter. You find a beat. Nah, I ain't. I got this. I just, I just, I just rock, man. I'm just gonna just, just. I just. I'll just okay. rock. I'll okay. just rock. You know what I mean? Because right. I don't like to do freestyles yeah, because yeah. I don't like to mess up. Okay. So <laughs> I can rock whatever comes to mind okay. and not make a mistake. Let's do it like that. All right. All right. Let's go. Bring that beat back, baby. <laughs> Lega. You know how we do it. You already. We out here. Shout out to E Rex, Chris Rivers, the Conquerors. We in the building. Yeah. About to get busy a little something like this. You asked about battling? Yeah. It's too petty for me. If I get on that battle shit, they ain't ready for me. It ain't got to be a beat from the streets. You know I like to start shit and end the shit wherever we meet. From Cuba to BK, from US to UK, from Earth to any planet, kid, wherever you stay. Hey, no matter where you hide, I got eyes everywhere. Soon as you think you're safe, surprise, I'm already there. Yeah. You ain't built for war, so don't get your shit rocked with your silky jaw. You acting like rappers ain't been killed before. Ending clowns' careers is what I'm guilty for. I ain't even got to spit, son. You weak as an elf. And I gained a reputation that can speak for itself. So before you get your shit cracked, get back. Your shit is wick whack. Plus your breath hums, you need a tic-tac. Don't talk about eating all I'm seeing as well. I break a rapper down and make him be on himself. My flow is flawless, especially on the cordless. I swim with sharks and Stab niggas with swordfish. Stay on the grind while I'm stacking my chips. Don't mistake me for a reekin' because I'm black as the clips. Bust your bubble, plus I lust for trouble. You could bring your crew around and I'ma crush your huddle. I'm the reason niggas quit if they ain't built to spit. If I'd have been on 50s albums, I'd have killed them shits. Whoever come wrong gon' get it. All that beef and drama bullshit, I ain't with it. I'm the type to come right where you live, in front of your wife and your kids. Shit I write about's the life that I live. I don't floss a trick, I just offer. Right before she fall in love, I get awful. Like to tease a little when I please the middle. When they try to figure me out, they be like, he's a riddle. All I can say is keep your feelings in check. <laughs> and now you deal in the deck. Oh Next. God, nigga, come on, man. You really gonna make me go after that? That's Let's like, go. Come on. Come on. What the <laughs> fuck, right? Nah. For real. Yo, hey, yo, yo. Who's extraterrestrially gifted? When it comes to these lyrics, catch a vibe. Yo. Yo, hey yo, uh, yes. Hey yo, I'm fucking gifted. When it comes to these lyrics, catch a vibe on you and separate your heart from your spirit. Lego the young OG, you know me, then you fear it. Musically a magician, no one to dare to come near it. Work to the good book, all y'all shook, don't wanna hear it. I'm a good look, plus look good before I kill it. I'm a whole nother level nice, these niggas overpriced. Tight pants, weak excuses, we letting grab the mic. That's word the mother, this the heat, the summer when it drops. And send you non believing he just threw it, word the pot. This stupid sucker front and talking nothing need to stop. Talking about you hugging something, talking about you hug a block. Don't know where to do that at, we from a different stop. It's that New York City hoodie rap that make you bust your glock. It's that rap classic in the making. Fucking y'all no debating. Live from the Matrix, my nigga. Sorry we kept you waiting. Woo! Y'all already yeah. told, man. Okay. Okay. I'm mad y'all niggas really now. made me go after 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 what? that. Yeah, now we want you to hit another beat. <laughs> huh? Now we want you to hit another beat. You said beat. you exactly. rock and I got it. After. I got it. No you, doubt. No doubt. Did. My no. niggas are literalists. Yeah. I, yo, no, 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 I can fuck with him all day. Yo, hold on. Hit him with another beat. We're going to do another yeah. beat. Ooh. All right. I'm going to record this one. Hold on. Are you it's going first this time? It's only right. Yes, sir. Had to be on punch too. I said yeah. Hey yo, y'all can't fuck with me. The boy legacies the 75 bars each. Just to give y'all niggas buck 50s. 
Tap you up in your coast, take your last breath, hit you with the 34. See, I shook your ass, get the fact. You say you nicer, bro, that make me mad vex. Cause I could go for dolo and rip apart a wax set. Y'all rap vets, please, dog. I know you faking, man. I flow wet like pussy and tight like Jamaican pants. Plus, I ain't a rule boy. Pull out this tool, boy. And leave y'all niggas stiffer than stools, boy. I'm sick of them preachers touching on school boys. And twice as fucked up. Leave you dead on the floor with your throat cut. So what? You really trying to tell him? I chop up all your limbs, throw you in the river, and tell you to swim. Fuck y'all, I'm the nice with a pen. My hands loose for no telling what I do to you. Show you how to lose with work, move and work. Nothing to do with renovation. Then you staggering and pacing from the manifestation. I'm battling Satan, that's why I'm called God. And all of the MCs, I make y'all walk like this fourth ball. So take your base before I break your face and have you seeing signs like Ace of Base. So why you trying to change your pace? Do I make you nervous? I write the coldest on earth's surface. Everywhere I go, I'm masters of verses. I taught y'all about this, now I finally reimbursed it. Homicide bars, putting MCs in hearses. Can you fuck with a man that writes clothes? My mind's twisted. Hundreds bars of disaster, sickness, food for thought, and dirty dishes. I ain't even got a smoke for y'all to get the kids lifted. Soon as I go, this nigga will fucking rip it. Going for the distance, holding down the business. Flow golden when I flip this. Y'all can't fuck with this. I seven mics, I settle mics, I'm done with you clowns. Now nah, Lego, keep going, man. It's how did this sound? It's ridiculous. Lyricists, fist riddles, just listen. Big pistols and missiles hit where you're left. Nipple is truck more than a little bit hotter than ovens and kittles. Can't read the book of Leviticus. Tell God I'ma split my wrist to get him pissed. Whoa. I ain't trying to be blasphemistic, but I know y'all see God Once I cock back and black the biscuit Faster, slow, master flow, switch up speeds Lit up trees, sipped up, kicked up, just throwing my B dash O dash, D dash, Y Anybody fucking with the dash, E, Del, S, G, A, try You a gambler? Come on, nigga, spit your fate Spit a mind scrambling, it can't be less than great Woo! I'm a man finesse, fucking ain't a swagger too And I send my brother to battle you Let her show you how to am Yo, what the deal, son? Is you jail because I'm the one that your honey loving the nigga she getting from because I spit money, I rip money, I split money, legit money, hate on. No matter how you slice or dice it, I get money. Come against the nicest MC on earth and get whipped money. Unstoppable. The ground I walk on is unmoppable. I beat you down just like a prejudice cop will do. When I speak, I'm heard word for word. Get my point across even if I slurred. Beaching him, I heard this occurs. Visions are blurred because I purr like a cat flyer than a bird. Remember that. Official. Let me find out my niggas dissed you. Aiming at the front of your grill and just missed you. Blamed it on the pistol because it jammed and you ran. Used to be my little man. Then you went against the fam, now you fuck shit out of luck Better duck, gonna be point blank or a dot When I buck, I'm coming out the wood when you least expect Then gonna be some nasty sh like a yeast infection Magnificent is the name, no getting it twisted Mikey D, the only nigga to hang when I existed Oh shit! Bars! <laughs> yeah, this is what we do Yo, I ain't gonna play I ain't gonna play, I was excited about that And I never <laughs> throw shit out there like that And my husband will tell you I leave that up to him but I wanted to hear something collaborative. That was boss. Yeah, now nah, we, we gonna hit y'all for another one. Nah, man. Nah, man, 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 we we hungry, man. Well, City well, Allen is around the corner. Three times the charm. <laughs> three times the charm. All right. All right, come on. Let's get it. Don't feel bad. Um, um, Olive Garden is calling me too. All right. Yo, the conquerors. We in the building, man. Y'all know what it is already. E Rex, what up? Chris Rivers, what up? They were dumb. They Yo. were shouting you out. I didn't get a chance. Oh, no doubt. You ready? Uh, I got it. I'll go first. You want me to? Yeah, yeah, Check yeah. it out. Look. Let me see. Hey, yo, say you never heard of me. That's perjury. I'm Mikey D. State of emergency. Rappers go against me, go straight into surgery. They don't want no problems. They all want to merge with me. Still in my flow is a rapper's form of burglary. A slap in the face or flipping the bird to me. You want to learn my flow, you need to learn to ask. Yeah, now it's my turn to laugh. Uh, I prevail. Why these haters want to see me fail? I'm off the Richter because this quake is on a bigger scale. Flow's mean on a winning team, never losing. I'm another king from Queens. The evolution. Starting my revolution Cats owe me restitution You know you owe me best Believe you're facing retribution Execution I couldn't pick a better way To kill these clowns And make the quick getaway The rhyme reaper Throw a rapper in the sleeper Then I jack him for his beeper Then I'm bringing back the sneakers Yeah Plus this track is a keeper If you wanna hide the heater Stash the gat in the tweeter Legacy never ace the one, two, three. 
trade Getting the dope beats to let out my hidden rage Y'all niggas fake like an act on stage Gonna blow your mind like E But more likely with a 12 shot gauge The fans that read the book of leg Can't wait to flip the next page Don't get sprayed, just two way mic And get new spray, I flip the scripts With them lyrics I spit with the same ease as I do it, my bitch, as I do it, my click, I smoke weed and get limp, and I proceed to spit some sick shit that's so fish, getting hit with the fifth, now you lay in the ditch, from the lyrics I kick, your leg, how six this shit, how big's this spliff, that my nigga Fez lit, this legacy and Fez, the world ain't ready for this, my crew could pop clips just as fast as you could pop Chris, and bullets like corks, I suggest you not sniff, get high off the bamboo spliff with trees inside, and got them same things that made Bill Clinton lie, I got them hot nicks and boy I call them blazer bag and run for memphis like we playing laser tag nigga yeah right. so, Yo, back talk radio man y'all already know what it is man conquer is in the building baby Yes, <laughs> yo, yo, she was over there Rice giggling, it. and I was like, yeah. that's the best, man. It's in her blood, you know. <laughs> tell her, tell her where they can find you, real quick. Yes, yeah, where can they, tell they, where they can find you? Huh? Your social media outlet. Where they can find you? Where they can find you? Oh, yo, 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 check it out. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, it's the real underscore Mikey D on everything. You know what I mean? Really, uh, Twitter and Instagram are the only two I use. Remember, I'm old, so I'm not too computer savvy. <laughs> so Pinterest and all of that. Yeah, and right. no Facebook. I don't do Facebook. No, no, no. <laughs> Lega. Yeah, man. You already know. At L-E-G-A-C number one. Twitter's probably the best place to reach me because I'm on it all the goddamn time. If you want to argue, hit me up. Okay. He said, if you want to <laughs> argue, hit me up. Yeah, yeah, that's the best shit. On Twitter. I do, man. It's the best, man. You, you find the best things. They make you laugh, man. I'm putting on Twitter just to fuck with you. You're yeah. telling me, man. I would appreciate you guys for coming on the show. Oh, man, no we doubt. appreciate you, man. No thank doubt. So anytime. Any, any, thank any you for time. shouting us out. Nah, when you drop man, the project, facts. you have to come back, man. Oh, for sure, for sure.
gets to shine. Back on deck. You know what I'm saying? We came back from our break. We got Cripple 3030. We got Nicole. We got uh, Straight from the Gutter, Jay Gutter. We got Hungry Jay in the building. Yeah, everybody's hungry. Oh, my God. <laughs> we, got, um, we got the real Simba in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, man. All right. L- lyrical genius from Mount, Mount Vernon. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Where you get yeah. your name from? I saw that <laughs> Simba. I'm like, wait, hold up. Player. Banking. <laughs> what? That's what I thought. With the that, Lion King? That and the people name you, you know what I mean? Like, Who named when you? I was young, I used to rock like the, the cheetah print bandana. And then I don't know where people was like, what up, Simba? And I was oh, like, oh shit. I'm like, all right, cool. Yo, but then, niggas comedians for real. True. And then for me, it just one of the, it branched off of the Lion King, the whole essence of the story. Because I tell people all the time, it's like, if you watch that movie, a lot of grown folks miss a deep message that's in that movie. The life you know? lesson, right. Because the animated stuff. But right. they miss the message all the time. And then I just felt like I embodied the fight that was in that character. So I just went with the name. You know, you're about to blow up, though. Blow Not, up, man. I, you, I the, mean, they have a realistic Lion King coming out. Yeah. Where they're going to. Yeah. So now when you come out, first of all, try to get in that soundtrack. Yeah. You so should. once I see your name, you know what I mean? Try to. Yeah, blow. yeah, 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 yeah. And back up once I cut for that. That's not free information either. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> number two. Hey, man, is this right there? He's been doing the plug. He's yeah, talking to him about that. Yeah. <laughs> he See, heard me. He's been doing the plug. But, um, no, but, you know, that that is unique. When I saw the name, I'm like, oh, shit, that's different. You know what I mean? It's unfortunate. I mean, I didn't get a chance to hear the record. It's unfortunate because we were running around. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, but. The record's I, dope, though. Yeah, we we trying to sure, get like, that. Hope y'all like it. You, but you he got, just you got he some just bars emailed too. it. You got it right, Rashawn. So we got we got his music. So you got both. You got the blue faces one too. Yeah. All right, that's good. That's good. Okay. Cool. So we gonna we gonna play we gonna play his music in a little bit. Right now we want to get to know you though. You know what I'm saying? Tell the viewers about you. What got you into the music business? What are you twelve? Thirty five. I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, but for me the music business like. I never I don't even look at the business aspect of it as of yet. I just look at it it's more like a, a spiritual thing. It's like you, you feel one with what you're doing and you're happy doing it. So for me right. it's like why well, struggle to love something I don't like just because it's gonna get me a little paper when I could do something I love and possibly make a living off of it. Right. You know, and the music I just look to build my legacy through it. I, I tell people I, I guess my blame my mother, you know, <laughs> she listen to the Big Eater Tupac, the Bob Marley Everybody, I don't know who who else is on that chart, but she listened to a lot of people. Marvin like, Gaye, yeah. Was well, she so cleaning? I, exactly. So I just grew up loving music, and then like I came out, and then like when I was a little baby, and I was like rapping in the hospital. And no, I'm kidding about that, <laughs> but but like oh, I like just four always years loved ago? it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop picking on his age. Right? Stop picking on his age. Right? They tell me I got an old soul. You know, I listen yeah. to that Big Daddy Kane, the Rock Cam back in the days. You know right. what I mean? Run, DM, run DMC, all that stuff. You know, so, so people have like, something to say. Yeah, yeah. It's different. Yeah, that's true. So like, why don't you just admit that you're old? I am old. <laughs> well, have I ever said why, I'm not so old? So why, why you keep shooting at the fact that he's young? No, I'm just saying he has a baby face. Why, and you that, mad that, because you're not young anymore? All right, it's not about both of you, it's it about attracts, him. It attracts, it attracts the, the, the geographic of, you know what I'm saying, of the people. Like, be like, oh my God, he's a teeny bopper, but he's really not. Yeah, but, but then when they listen to the music, they're like, oh shit, he's dope. But you know us, us highlighting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Us highlighting that you're old will tra- attract the old fuddy duddies that want to watch us. Nah, too. young chicks love me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a whole my nother bad. story. Sorry, not sorry. So what are you working on now, Simba? Oh, I got an album I'm coming out with soon. And when, when that's uh, coming before out? I do, before I drop you guys the album, I want to do the mixtape first because I got a couple songs right now. Got a lot of people familiar with me. Got a lot of spins right now on the Oh My Goodness, on Blue Faces. I got two dope songs I can't wait to just like put out there just to get the people's response from them. And it's like, with me, it's like tricky. A lot of people, they want to predict what I'm going to come with next. but. You gotta understand, you can't, cause I don't even know. <laughs> I'm gonna right, that. that's the fact. You know what I mean? Like right. the beat talks to me. Sometimes I just sit and I just write, and then whatever happens, happens. So it's just like I just love creating. Like I could sit and I write like four lines, four lyrics, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't wait to put this out. You know? Like, right. So that's my joy. And it, like for me, man, just I just want y'all to like just love the music, just appreciate the music, and just just take a listen. So what you gonna What you gonna perform today? I, I gotta perform today. Yeah, oh, why not? Wait, why not? You kick your shit. You let them let them see what you got. 
You ready? I mean, I, I'm, I'm with it, man. You got his ready? manager sweating wait, for him. But wait, I want to ask your manager something real quick. <laughs> As you being his manager, what did, what made you want to manage him? What attracted you to him? You have a wireless mic right there, sir. But he was very talented and he was different. Different and as in how? The way he his, his rhymes. is To me, it's like you can't really label it. And it's like he's saying something. Well, is it he's his not mumbling. He's talking. Is yes. it his delivery or is it his lyrical content? Just the whole content. This, the, the concept content and different? everything. Okay. It's just different. And, oh. and he's a little more, to me, he was, he's educated when he talks. He's not just talking about, you know, and his music is, to me, is like on a level where it's like, it's neutral, but it's international. Okay. Where it's like, you can't really label the demographic of the music. Like, this is just here. You could put it on cross over top 40 radio and it'll go. All I hear is money. That's what I, yeah, that's what hear, I saw. Yeah, that's what when I you, saw. When you say when you, when you start talking about international and then top forty, that's and, what I and, saw. And you coming in as the lyricist. That's what I saw. You're good. That's what's up. That's what I saw. That's what's up. Oh, wow. Okay. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> you put the money aside. <laughs> I do it for the love of it, though, yeah. man. I tell people all the time. It's no, like, but that's that's your job. That's nah, your his job, job is my job. Is his job. He heard the ching ching. You you felt that in your heart that this. This is if, like I always say: if you don't love your job, go get a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I love to cook, so I work around food, and I love to talk, so we're here. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you love to she talks a lot. A lot. You <laughs> love music, so that that's what you that's what you're doing. And like he loves the sound of money, and he like the sound of your voice. So you know he's working with you. Yeah, but, but I mean, if you're gonna do something, I want to win. I don't want to just do it just to be wasting time. Right. right. And I saw, you know. But that's the thing. But that's why artists that they need a team. Right. Because to them, it's just, I'm just doing it for the love of it. I just right. want to put stuff out. But no, but you need someone like yourself right. that's coming and saying, no, let's structure this this way. Let's drop this at a certain time. Let's do this. Right. And let's make these moves so your mama right. could listen to Marvin Gaye in the fucking motherfucking mansion. Right. You're still doing what you, you know love, what but we're making that's sense of that's it. You got, it has to make sense at the mm -hmm. end of the day. How old and that's you why you need a team. Uh, deuce, deuce. <laughs> 22. 22. I, you know, how y'all knew that went over her head? Y'all stupid. <laughs> no, like, you know, you know what I'm, you know, what, 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 what he said? The kid language. It's something that my son would say. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to have your mom in that mansion, right? Living yeah. under that Marvin yeah, yeah, Gaye. That's, that's, your, that's your dream, right? That's something that my son would say. That's a very good dream right there. Make sure yeah, you because, your mom. But anyway. Yeah, because you're a mom. That's why. Nah, but what, what's the first record you want the people to hear and then we want I'm you to introduce punch. it? Um, the first record I want y'all to hear, you got you got come out hot, right? So you got come out with heat, convince them. Yeah, right come away. on swinging, right, right. come on so swinging. I want, I want, I want y'all to hear that blue faces record, man. That's that's right. a dope All right. record. Man. But that's not the one you're performing, though, right? Uh, maybe I should do it the other way then. Uh, maybe I perform uh, blue you faces. You want to perform blue faces? And then y'all hear oh my goodness. You want to put oh my goodness on right now? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. All right. Yeah,
All right, all right. We're back from my break. That yep. was Oh My Goodness yeah. by Real Simba. No, nah, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? It was it was fire. But um, I, I, I remember something while you were playing the song. You got a tour that you on, right? You oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tour. Um, that's that throw, out throw out your plugs. Throw out your plugs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's like where am I gonna be? Like Miami, Virginia, West Virginia, West Virginia all those places. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let them know. Very where humble about all of that. Well, we're well, just gonna be in Miami, all over the world. Virginia. You gotta yeah. tell them where they where they come see you at. It's like. Y'all can find me on Instagram, follow, show love, man. You can catch me at all my shows because I post everything like 10 times a day. People get annoyed. <laughs> oh, you're like, you want to know? I was like, damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I post like 10 times a day. And it's like, it's the real, it's the real Simba, period, underscore. That's T H E R E A L S I M B A. And on uh, Sunday, we're going to be out in Brooklyn. Uh, we're in Brooklyn again. Oh, uh, hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing a performance out of Brooklyn. So definitely come out to that. Which hotel? Who you open, who you open it up for? The RL and then. The, the RL Brooklyn. Hotel. The in RL. Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. And then we and also going to be at the Delancey in Manhattan. And who are you Delancey opening up for? Who are you opening up for? Um, these are just regular shows. Just this regular show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an event called Power Sundays, the, the TV show Power. They have a show. They okay. Open, he opened it up before they do the yeah. thing. Tomorrow. Okay. You the your viewing party? Yes. They're doing the view party. The yes. Party for the yes. viewing party. Now, those, those, right. those, those um, I actually went a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. There's a lot of people there, so you're going to get a lot of new fans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, record, <laughs> the record is dope. You have a, a nice... Um, the voice, your delivery is dope, real dope. I appreciate it. And that. um, you, I like the way you throw in the fact that you're young into your rhymes to get the kids attracted, but then you gave us bars too. Yeah, <laughs> that was dope. I appreciate yeah, you. Got you. Got but then now you're gonna hit us with the blue faces, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, this yeah. one you're gonna you're gonna perform for us, right? I'll do that, man. That okay. Was, that was that turn on song, you know? Yeah, no, nah, right. that was dope. <laughs> The whole presence fade away. Switching teams like every day to hug, call him Rudy. Yeah. One thing about music, when it hits you, feel no pain. If I'm aiming, ain't no missing. I got ice up in my veins. Oh my goodness, made a hit on my first damn try. Now I'm getting all the things they told me money couldn't buy. Cop the rollie for these birds to so watch the time fly by. Man, I'm more than qualified. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me specify. I'm that nigga that made Stevie see a ribbon in the sky. Man, I make these rap niggas think it's rivet in the dark. That's life. That's yeah, we, life. yeah, we have to give you the. We're supposed to give you the stage for that one. <laughs> Word up.
Nah. You, you, you definitely gonna turn that up. So you, you performing tomorrow? Yeah, I be so much stuff I barely can keep up. <laughs> well, that's why you got that man right there. That's exactly why you tomorrow got him. We, tomorrow yeah. we got two shows in, in one in Brooklyn, one in Manhattan. On um, Thursday, Thursday we in um, what's that? Connecticut, Waterbury, Connecticut. Friday, West Virginia. Saturday, back in Brooklyn with AD the General in the tour. I think we're a little scrappy. Uh, headlining. August nineteenth. August nineteenth in Brooklyn. With a little scrappy, right? Yeah, we did. I think I, um, I'm, I may yeah, not be able to make it, but I, I think my wife is gonna go. For okay, us. you you go see yeah. some stuff. Well, there. it wasn't. I think it was my. This is what you need to be at right <laughs> after the show. <laughs> yeah. And I because he can't make it, um, I'm actually gonna drive right. somebody else for me. That's my right, representative. It's gonna be live. Yeah. It's gonna be live. So so straight from five o'clock, I'll be running straight to Brooklyn next week. I I already know. Oh, I need. You need to put like your disclaimer out there because we got to go. Yes, yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> we got to go. Where, where you at? Real Simba, right? The Real Simba. That's T H E R E A L S I M B A, period underscore. That's Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, MySpace. I don't know who still use that. Facebook. Oh, shit. He Wherever y'all want to find me. <laughs> Word. And show right. love, man. I'm not Hollywood. I'm just Hollywood. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to sign off. I'm going to sign off the way I always sign off. Never, ever, ever be silent. We're going to talk back right here on Back Talk. You can sign it off if you can play that Shoot. video. That'd be great. Yes. Yeah. 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 You can't conquer the conqueror. Go to work. Go to work. Ah, Chris Revers, uh, Eve Rex. Hardcore. Yeah. Hardcore. You can't conquer yeah. the conqueror. Ah. Uh. Go to work. Go to work. Get ten cannabis rips, ambulance split where amateurs be battling Chris. Lazarus gift, back to life the catalyst shift. Cataracts, I crack your back and try to handle the stick. I'll be the conqueror, harbor a darker than horror genre was larger than Marshall Carver. This harder than Spartan armor was factual, actual tactical bronze admiral. Known to crack the roots of shatter two, so when I be slapping dudes, pass the boost. Mike pages, slight faces with mind rays, big older than ice ages. My rage is similar to Bruce. That's bad and I wane, but I'm known to take the joke. I put it back to his brain. Hand him and Kane. Ask him if he's able Niggas focus on food I brought the legs and platform To the table That's my thoughts Bars and righteous And strike it with the right and spit With the spell of I'll be the motherfucker Tight like this Rapper Yo, the conquista dog, grab beats in a figure four The spick, Spanish version in charge of me speaking that raw With a gift, swift, slick, sick, and which you never saw Magnificent MC, yours truly, the conquer ball Rapper, 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 Ain't the issue, I'm royal, loyal, and worthy Versatility, swervy, ask anybody that heard me King of everything I do, so bring it if you swing it through I set this mic on fire and that choir that you sing it to Ooh, love it or hate it, I'm still the greatest, still underrated And saying, hey, look, ma, I made it Put your money on the vet, got your honey getting wet This is light work, you ain't really heard nothing from me yet It's pitiful, I'm sitting here listening to what niggas do It's critical, my mission this year is to get rid of you Joe Black and E-Rex, Chris Rivers is a T-Rex Speed Lexi, conquerors, like we ask Rapper, 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 r